And we're back. Hello, everybody. Here and I'm are. with us this time. Yeah. Desert. Hi, and Argyle. And T. 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 Are we gonna ring? Are we gonna read a book tonight, Argyle? Yeah. yeah, we are. I hope so. Okay, well, maybe a little bit later. I, 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 I showed you the books that I have put aside for story yeah. or yeah, and uh, yeah, I so, approve. You approve? Yeah. Is that the notification? Yes. Okay. I don't have my phone. I have it plugged in into the bedroom. So at one point, I'm gonna go run and go get it. Um. We'll give people a few minutes to stroll in. Thanks, everybody that's coming in. Appreciate it. Just got the notification. Awesome, June. We just went live. Yay. Hey, so, everybody. Um, so, what, so what's going on? T, did you take a little rest between the auctions? I did, actually. Did you? I did. You went, I pulled the Donna. My mm -hmm. husband came home from work at like 7.15 and we chatted for a few minutes. I said, I'm going upstairs to lay down. He's like, you're going on again tonight? I said, yeah. He says, do you usually go on Sunday nights? I said, sometimes. <laughs> so, he, so they sent him home from work? Yeah. Are they? Well, the world is not the same right now, so nothing's going to be normal. Yeah. I mean, 8 o'clock, we're shut. We're on lockdown, 8 o'clock tonight, so... Um, I just don't know what, how that affects other people as far as like, is the post office open tomorrow? Lori, is the post office open by you? Yeah, right. I mean, well, that's my only concern. We had the oh, most fantastic weekend with eBay. It better be open tomorrow. And I just got an offer on two paintings I've been trying to get rid of. And I hope I can meet him tomorrow for like 200 bucks. I'm excited. I know. Well, our, our lobby is closed. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I think you might have to schedule a pickup at your house. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I hope there won't be I, filled with that. I have a friend of mine that um her husband works for FedEx, and I know that USPS, UPS, and FedEx will remain working. However, you might just have to schedule pickups for any of those companies to pick up at your door because most of the, the facilities for the public will be closed. Oh, okay. All right. The post office cannot close. I talked oh, to you. I talked to my mailman. You know, I'm really close with him. You, you know, know, I talked to mine too, but you know what? They say no, and then the next thing you know, I just didn't know. But I'm going to tell you why they can't close. The reason why they can't close the post office is because of medication. Correct. The medication that people have to have, the post office has to continue to deliver. And even in Spain and in Italy, the post office is open. I yep. mean, the whole country is shut down. Post office is still delivering. Okay. So. Chris says he's a mailman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's just our lobby that's closed. Like they're still like the counter. You know what I mean? Right. They just don't want to have the contact with the people. Yeah. Yeah. So they're still allowing, I think as of right now, they're still allowing drop offs for letters and the packages through the little thing. Um, but our counter is, I believe, shut down. Okay. Yeah. Donna, did you see that thing? So I have, I don't know if you looked on my, my Facebook wall. Um, mm -hmm. on, I, on my TikTok, I saw this thing and it was like this whole street in Italy and all of the apartments, their windows were open. It was night. The lights were on and they were singing um, John Denver's Country Road all together. Yeah, I've seen oh, it. It was super awesome. I yeah. see Take me home. I didn't see. I didn't see the country road one, but I'm I saw, singing, Miss Donatella. I'm sorry. God, never mind. Sorry. Go on. All right, I'm gonna welcome in some friends. Christine B is the first one in the house. Hello, honey, and Heidi Leslie. Christine B said her husband is actually watching tonight. Wow. Oh, wow. Awesome. Hello, husband. I'm here. And Brittany's brands, welcome. Penny Day and Susan and Abraham, my original one and only counter. 
He's taken a step back because now April Morse is my counter. Morris? Yeah. Well, I think they can share the job. Dennis Do, hello, Bobby, and Summer 422. Welcome. June, my beautiful friend, and Erin, Joyce, and Flippin' Flamingos, FLA, Florida. They're from Florida. <laughs> Who figured that out? I think Argyle did. I did. Yeah, I said, Flippin' Flamingos, what a great name. I said, are you from Florida? And Argyle was like, well, they do have FLA capitalized in their name. I'm like, whoa, I didn't even see that. And there's my friend Connie. Hello, Connie. Oh my God, my husband's watching tonight. Love out loud. That is so funny. <laughs> that is hysterical. Penny Day and Harley Kitten. Donna, thank you for coming. Hi, Jojo, Sylvia, and Amy Jo. Thanks, you guys, for being here. And Chris and Nancy and Mrs. and Mr. Weird. This is a Mr. Weird. <laughs> like Hot mess thrifter. Hi, Amy. Hello, honey. Mom gets it. My friend Kathy. Mwah. Hi, Kathy. That's Brumus's mom, just so that everybody knows. Um, and my chat just skipped. So a bunch of people must have just come in. Let's see who else do we have here? Chris. Thank you, Chris, for being here. Boatman, Boatman, Blarry's RV Life. Hello. There's John Jones. The mill is my last link to the outside world. Spray the hell out of the incoming mill before touching it, right? Think about your money before you think about the mail. It's the mm -hmm. money even worse or even your your debit cards and your credit cards you're swiping them through those machines that a million other people are swiping <laughs> through the what machine. was that that's that part of it my mine's good because mine i just tap i don't even have to touch it i just tap <laughs> yeah. come on Roy, touch it <laughs> she's gonna touch you <laughs> Chris, thank you for being here. And Tammy, thanks for coming. The beautiful Jennifer Hayes. Hello, Jennifer. And who else do we have? Did I miss anybody? There's Kay. Oh, there's money bags. Hey, Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Claudia. <laughs> Steps Universe. Thank you for being here. And Tina Hosel Hunter, Black Jack Cat. Hello, Granny Doe. Thanks for being here. And Tony, Mark H. Hello, Mark H. Hello, Donna and company. The Nurse Flipper. Hey, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Awesome. So there's a nice crowd rolling in. Yeah. We got 52 people in the chat. We'll give it a couple of minutes and see if some more people will come in. And uh, T and There's you a couple of people you have to wrench in here, too. Okay, I'll go over and do that in one second. T, are you presenting tonight? Um, we'll see how it goes. I didn't really prepare too much. Okay. I'm mostly here just to call for you and to be with our friends. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Lucinda just came in. Hello, Lucinda and Nancy. And just if you have to run and get something and you need a few moments, I have a few things standing by and I'd also like to do a giveaway tonight. So awesome. Okay. That sounds good. Yes. Everybody smash the like button and just subscribe to one another and Laurie, make a comment in the chat so that my people can uh, meet your people. <laughs> In case you guys don't um, don't uh, subscribe to Laurie, Laurie, you want to tell us uh, a little bit about who? I feel like everybody knows who you are, but you never know, right? Yeah, there's a couple new names I haven't seen, so yeah. so tell us a little bit about you. Well, me and my husband have buying storage units for over twenty years. And about, well, 2011, we actually starred, um, we were the stars of the show Storage Hunters on True TV. So we did that for a good five years. And then um, once that was done, we just continued to buy um, liquidation and storage units and 
thrifting, the whole gamut. We do it all. Um, but lately we decided to take a little step back from storage buying because it's kind of saturated here in our area. So we've been actually going out to the desert and um, doing either mining or some um, metal detecting and whatnot and finding some super cool old relics and just exploring for a little while just to take some time to breathe for ourselves. So that's awesome. So yeah, treasure hunting in the desert. So I guess there's whole entire communities, which I didn't even know this. There's entire communities that are like abandoned. Um, <clears throat> whose phone is that? It's Brandon's baby, your phone. You're interrupting the show, Brandon. Hello, Brandon. Typical Brandon. <laughs> and and you know what? Me and my girls over here, we're all from back east, so we all get along very well. <laughs> so that's even a plus. Right? No kidding. No kidding. The sock um, is from anywhere she wants to be. So we all Yeah, I can go right? where I want. Yeah, she's kind of like in the middle. Yeah. Right? She's just in the middle. I like being in the middle. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, so yeah, so her and Brandon, let's see. So you started your YouTube channel like right around the same time I did, I think like 10 months ago. Yeah, um, about that. Yeah, about 10 months ago. And their channel is up to, is it? We eight? actually just hit 21,000. You hit it, right? 21,000, yeah. Yeah, 20, I was there. Yeah, Sock was there. I was. 21,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Yeah. yeah, but you know, you had the push from your TV show. Like I, um, always, I was, it. it's, it's weird to me because a lot of, um, a lot of our following from our TV show aren't even our subscribers. So it's kind of strange. Like we have over 50,000, um, fans on our YouTube or on our Facebook page. Yeah. And a lot of them must not understand how to come to YouTube, subscribe to YouTube for a channel. So I know I get it. Cause we talked about this because I have a channel with, with 6,600 subscribers, my storage unit buyers and resellers group. I have 6,600 subscribers on there, but I, but I don't want to say only cause I don't want to seem ungrateful, but I only have 2,500 subscribers on my YouTube. So it's the same. It's like I want the 6,000 subscribers that are over on my, my Facebook page. I'm constantly posting on there. It's like, hello, hello, hello. Exactly. Yeah. Come here. Come here. And they just don't get it. So a lot of times, like, I'll have somebody, we, we get it all the time. They all of a sudden pop in. They're like, wait, you guys are from TV. What? You know, and they just don't even, you know, they never even knew we were out there. So, you know, I do have to say that um, the last live storage auction that I did, the caravan that I did, um, which I didn't like at all, and I don't plan on doing another one anytime soon, but I felt like a lot of those people were kind of like not computer people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I felt like that, like, I heard some of them talking and they, they Thank buy you. things. They buy things in storage units and they sell them at um, most of them are flea markets. Yeah. That's what they do. They sell it. That's, flea that's a lot. That's a big majority out here. That's what they do. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like they don't even like go on the computer to like, they would never, they would never go on the computer and bid on a storage unit. See, that's all I do. I yeah. only bid on storage units online. Right. Whether it be Locker Fox or Storage Treasures, you know, I, I prefer that. Donatella, T, Laurie, and Argyle, and Grace, say hello, beautiful ladies. And Grace, is Grace her daughter? Is that what she means? Allie and Grace. Allie, hey, and, Allie Grace. and Grace. Hi, Allie. Hi, Grace. Thanks for watching. Hi, Allie. Yeah. Hi, Grace. That's that's Bolo's. That's uh, Courtney's. Um, I can't say that. I can't say that. And then Christine, I saw, made a comment that she said, Dan, her husband wants you to smile, Argyle. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hi, panel. Hi, chat. Danny Mays in the house. 
Donna, did you get the picture? I wanted to send it to T, but didn't know how to. I, I My phone is plugged in, so I'm going to go get it in a minute and I'll look at it. And I'll put my email in the I'll put my email in the chat. Uh, Mary, we'll get you wrenched in a second, honey. Yes, we have your registration. Yes, we have it. Okay, we've got 61 people rolling in. Okay, let me do the oh, registration. Oh, oh, oh. What's the matter? I put the wrong link in. <laughs> oh. Whoopsie. 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 Oopsie. Okay, let's see. Who needs to be wrenched here? Let me look. All right, Mary so Brown. Mary Brown who needs to be wrenched. All right, let's wrench Mary Brown and uh, Boatman. Boatman, do you have a registration from I him or think, her? I think so. Hold on one second. I think they were wrenched on your channel. So yes. Flamingos. Okay. And... Laurie, why don't you? Oh, Laurie's RV life, definitely, because yeah. she's me today. No, I don't have a registration from Boatman. Boatman. Okay, Laurie, why don't you, Boston Laurie? Why don't you put your um, put your information in of how people, because you don't ask for registration. For okay. People that want to buy from you, put it in, and then um, who do we have in here that can moderate for us? I know Penny Day. Penny was yeah. dropping links. Yep. Okay. Um, if one of you moderators could please grab. Um, I have a helper tonight. Hey, Siggy. Siggy's in the house, you guys. Woo Hi, Siggy. Hi, Siggy Lamp. Hi, Siggy. Okay, Matthew Jones. Do you yes, wish? you can wrench him. Okay. Yep. Um, if one of the moderators can grab Laurie, Laurie Hunter, Laurie Hunters. <laughs> you can grab oh, Donna. Mary, Mary Brown. Um, did you get my email, Donatella? I don't know. I haven't checked my emails. Mary no, no, no. We got it. I just, you just wrenched her. Oh, okay. Uh, we're getting ready. We're not ready quite yet. Oh, no, no. I just see online getting. Yeah. Jill says we're all moderators. No, you're all wrenched. There's only certain moderators that do like moderating kind of work. Like, I don't yeah, Penny Day's been doing it. Susan Stricker's been doing it. If Melissa W comes in, you know, um, we we prefer just keeping it to a small group. I mean, if you want to if you want to ask, well, maybe we need somebody. Um. Okay. Did I wrench Laurie RV Life? Can you make a comment, Laurie? And um, did I wrench Matthew Jones? You can wrench. I don't know if he did. Uh, okay, Glenn B. Is he? Um, Glenn, let's see, Glenn. Welcome, Glenn B. No booze. New meaning to plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Wow, Larry. Did they close all your liquor stores? Um, As of six tomorrow, I believe they're going to. Were you able to go stock up? Um, I'm going this evening. Uh, they had like literally nothing at Sam's Club. They didn't? Well, because, so when we went to Sam's Club, they were limiting, um, each family could go, only get one each of it, anything. And then, um, except for the liquor, that was free game for anybody to grab as much as they want. So it was pretty bare and scarce. Like so, what, what was left, like really expensive cordials? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. That's what I would imagine, like really expensive high. There was like, Top literally there was like no Coors Light. There was um, a couple left of Bud Light, um, certain things like that. Um, but for the most part, there there wasn't a lot left. Now, Lori, let me ask you a question. You can't buy beer by you in other places that would remain open, like grocery stores or convenience stores? I believe after 6 o'clock um, tomorrow night that they're going to, we've heard they're going to suction and corner off that area where you can't get down. Really? Wow. So they're, they're making everybody, that's what I was saying this morning during our talk show, People move to Vegas for gambling and booze. <laughs> That's why they moved to Vegas. And now there's nothing. How well, I don't understand? So if the supermarket is open and the supermarket, do you, do your supermarket sell booze and uh, booze? Do they sell wine and beer? 
Yeah, and our <laughs> gas stations and convenience stores. Yeah. So how can they how can they put a stop to booze? Like if 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 the gas station is open, you can walk in and buy a bottle of wine, can't you? Um normally yes, but if the governor passes what he's trying to get passed, then we won't be able to. Just like um, he's implementing as of tomorrow at 6 p.m. The Metropolitan Police has all rights to go through down the line of every single building. And if they are open, they will be fined $1,000 per day. And it's also a criminal misdemeanor. Yeah, my cousin said in Italy, it's a five, $500 fine and up to five years in prison if you're, if you're caught. Ours is a thousand thousand dollar per day. Yeah, they can't stop you from buying booze. The booze is still going to keep coming in. They can't make all these people just quit cold turkey. There's just no way. It's the same thing, Donna. What they're doing? We thought the same thing, but yeah, people can't stop cold turkey. It's oh, thank God! Thank God, Tina. Thank God. Tina said here in New York, the lockdown started at 8 p.m. Yes, it did. Except the essential things. Cuomo deemed liquor stores essential for mental health and well-being. No way. Very nice. <laughs> We're moving to New York. Thank God. Very nice. That's funny. <laughs> Donna, I put my, my information in the chat. Okay. Um, so it's just my PayPal and my Venmo address. And that's okay. that. Can, can you grab that if you don't mind, please? And so when someone buys something, maybe, it, you know, I don't want to ask you to do too much, but maybe you can just drop that for, um, for Laurie and Brandon. Um, oh, Swamp is in here under his real name. So that's Glenn. Um, he says no computer. So he must be on another device on his phone or something. That's Swamp. Yeah. Stay they were even... They were even talking about um, something about our limiting our electrical use. Like, she no. Shutting down at 7 p.m. Well, they should shut the lights off at the casinos if they're not open. I think they're more afraid of looting. Mm. And it's been happening quite often. So Yeah, but, you know, the, the big ones, you know, like the Bellagio or... I mean, can't they shut the main building off that's in the back? I mean, what are they going to do? They've done that already. Oh, they have? Okay. Yep. They've, um, so the Mirage is completely dark. They shut all of their lights off, even their signage. Um, Caesars is pretty much almost the same. The only one that's lit up is the red one at the top that says Caesars Palace, and then um, their signage in the front. Um, I believe... Win is pretty much the same except their signage in the front. So that's about all they're keeping, like right by their door openings. Right, right. The only, like lights they're really keeping. No, because, well, it looked brighter when you guys were driving down the other day and, and showing the footage. It seemed like a lot of the- It did seem, know. it seems super bright. And I told him, I said, it's funny because um, I said, you, you need to just keep rolling because they're going to think like we literally came out again later because it got so much darker, but then it seems so much lighter still when he was filming. And I'm like, that's so weird that it seems so bright and it was so dark to us, you know, oh. but it was, it was pretty dark. So, um, I know that on, um, Fremont, almost all the lights are off, but that's all literally you can't even, they're, um, they're not as strict. They, well, I should say that last night they weren't as strict about you know, people walking down the strip because they know people are going to be like, wow, what's going on? I got to see this, you know. Um, but I know on Fremont, they actually gated off um, like six foot tall gates, gated off the whole length of Fremont. Nobody can walk down there. Nobody can get through there whatsoever. You're kidding. Mm -mm. Nope. Oh, you know, June said this is getting scarier by the day. And I, you know what? I, I don't mean to sound like a Debbie Downer, but I think that um, we haven't even seen the worst of it yet. Yeah. Well, we talked, Pepper, we talked to our friends over in the UK yesterday and um, they're doing okay, but um, her mom and dad haven't been feeling very well. So... You know, we're a little nervous for them because 
you know, we were there as witnesses for their wedding when they came out here. So I was just like, you know, we're trying to check on everybody. We just heard that there's um, seven cases at Nellis Air Force Base right now. So they've actually shut down basically the whole base um, and having, you know, testing everybody there and basically everybody on the base is literally not allowed to like leave their residence. So yeah, it's crazy. So <laughs> I don't know. And it's, and it's weird the stance to me that Vegas has taken because we are one of the lower cases, you know, we, we don't have a lot. Well, let's hope you stay that way. And I guess, you know, that's that's the way to look at it, too, is hopefully you stay that way. Yeah. But see, like down where my cousin is in, um, I think it's North Carolina, um, he's in he's in the Army and he's stationed down there. And their daycare is still open. Um, it's life as usual. You just got to take out food. You know what I mean? It's probably because you have a lot of tourism. You guys touch a lot of things in those casinos well yeah. they closed they've closed the florida keys did they really i saw yeah. you know see brandon that's brandon's so upset about this he was watching the news and he's seeing all these young kids down there and they're holding up signs like come party with us tonight we're like guys you know be responsible where where, where? in florida, florida for for spring break oh i don't know i mean all of all palm beach all palm beach be beaches are closed wow so, I, mean, I don't know about the other side of the state jill might know yeah, but parks were closed in Manhattan too, and the, and Governor Cuomo got on this morning and started screaming at people like playing basketball is not keeping six feet away from people. Like, get yeah. out of the parks; you were causing more concern. And I think that's why they did it here in New York is because nobody was listening. They yeah. were all going out and congregating in the parks and the, you know, wherever else. I don't know. Right. Yeah, so um, Kevin, Never Ending Saga said it was Clearwater Beach. That's over. Hi, Brandon. Hey, hi, Brandon. hi, honey. I see uh, Lori's RV Life said that uh, her son is in the Army and the NSA stationed at the Pentagon. Uh, he told her to get some extra cash, stock up of food, stay home with the doors locked, and make sure your gas tanks are full. So we did that today. We went out to um, Sam's Club. We yeah. got a huge five gallon thing of gas. We filled up our tanks in our cars. Um, we've locked all our doors and stuff. I've called my kids and told them to do the same. Um, we have cash on hand just in case, because I know it could be a possibility. That I, I will say down. this to you. I've never been a huge Cuomo fan, but I will say this. He's come around a long way. He really well, has. I'm not a huge Cuomo fan, but I'll be honest with you. Has he not? He's really working with the president. He, is, and, he, is. he and, really you know, is. He's definitely yeah. taken a, a bipartisan turn yeah, with agreed. him. And they've both been saying that they, both of them are happy with one another, that they're getting yep. along. And, you know, if we can all just get along for a little bit. Absolutely. Year, Absolutely. Just, but kudos to him. He, he's doing it. He's doing for what he for what it is. You know who's the problem? Freaking de Blasio. Oh, he's tell me about it. Go there. Tell me about it. Oh, tell me about it. He wants to go against everybody. Yeah. He wants to go against everybody. Yeah. Both of them. It doesn't it, matter. Yeah. Team. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. We're not, we're not doing the political thing. It has nothing to do with politics. Hey, Cuomo yep. and de Blasio are on the same side. I'm just saying that one of them just doesn't want to work with the other. And they're on the same side. Do birds wear socks? <laughs> oh, my God. How great is that? Great wow. Do birds wear socks? Well, do they? We're, we're going to find out. A I've little bit later, a when, we read it. when we read it, we're going to find out a little bit later if birds. Oh, wow, yes. that's my kind of YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> here's the other one. I don't know where the other one is. Hey, everybody, light the room up with socks. <laughs> oh, gosh, I want to see. <laughs> light it up, light it up with socks, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it as you can use it for a thumbnail next time you go live. Hey, have you gone live yet? Not yet, but I'm going on soon. I'm going to interview because she said. Oh, you are. You are. <laughs> oh, that's an awesome first interview. I think so. What's she up, Heidi? 
So let's. What's up for auction tonight? Go ahead. You here go come the soccer right. here come the soccer right. That I want to do too. Look at all those socks. Look at all the socks. Okay, Jimmy. I don't think so. The Indians aren't cheap. Maybe. Yeah. They're not. Yeah. Look at all the socks. Those are crazy. They're showing their love, Argyle. Yeah. So is that the left hand talking to the right hand? Um, no, there was no hands involved in creating the sock pocket, the sock, the, the, the sock puppet. <laughs> no hands at all. No lefts and no rights. So, um, Laurie, what do you have up for auction tonight? Uh, we have a few different things. We do have, um, so I don't know who has like um, seen our our videos here, but we did buy a, a, a bin that a uh, gentleman had a whole bunch of um, items. Bombs. So we have shirts. Oh. Um, <laughs> I thought you were going to say bombs. <laughs> yeah, right. Those two. <laughs> um, we did have um, a whole bunch of uh, genuine leather purses, mesh. Uh, messenger bags and oh, right. um, it's, a lot. it's a huge great reseller lot yeah and yeah. they're really really nice um, I I had those. I'm trying to think of what else um, we have and all leather a little too. crochet lot um, or knitting knitting, knitting lot. Yeah, knitting crochet. Um, but the, your entire uh, chat stream has socks that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh oh, so Jennifer Lewis doesn't have any socks. No, she doesn't have any socks. She's sad. So Dennis sad. wants to know if you have any video games or video game lots. Did you bring? Uh, any do we have any video game lots for tonight? Uh, I, uh, I, I, I don't think so. Though. I don't think we have any. I think we sold a video game lot last week, I did. and that was our last one as of right now because the rest is in the warehouse, and we don't know when we're going to be able to get there to get those. So. <laughs> I know, right? That's the other thing. If we go into lockdown, I have a whole storage unit full of stuff myself. So I'm thinking yeah. I need to like in the next couple of days. Oh, yeah, my storage unit won't be open, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to work on bringing as much of that stuff to my garage. Uh, Brandon wanted to um, just send a little personal message to Sock. He went shopping and bought these today. They still sell my family, but they won't sell booze. <laughs> Unbelievable. Crazy. So, uh, Christine B is said uh, her husband wants to know if you can come over for a beer. I don't drink beer, but I can watch you drink yours. <laughs> We're pretty stocked up here on stuff as far as like inventory. Like before this, yeah. like the last like three or four days, we've literally just been bringing stuff back. My whole house is full right now. So, you know, I'm pretty good as far as like having enough for auctions, which yeah. is, you know, fortunately we jumped on it when we did. Um, as long as UPS and FedEx keeps picking up, we're good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they'll be able to, they'll, they'll, they're still gonna, they're still gonna do it. eBay sales are gonna just keep going and Amazon's gonna keep going. And yeah, we're gonna be able to keep selling to the resellers that can't go out and source for merchandise. Oh, so, it's good. It's just kind of like we're all going to help each other and we're going to, you know, you guys, all you resellers that are reselling, you're still going to be able to get some money coming in, which is great. Yeah. So the important thing is, is to get them really good product that they can flip and sell and make some money. Yeah. So, um, that's our goal. That's our goal here is to give you guys all really. So you guys keep coming back and buying from us. Yeah. You so keep us going. We keep you going. And yeah, it's all continues. Yeah, we all just work together in this and we'll get through this. And then going on live helps with the morale and the, I mean, even though, you know, we talk about, oh, the strip is shut down and no booze and blah, blah, blah. I know, I know, I know that can be depressing, but mostly we want it to be a happy, positive place for you guys to come and not just be down. Like when, when you come here, you, you know, we want you to be happy and kind of forget about things. And yeah. And to be honest with you. So I know on, I think it was our, it was either the live last night or the one before. And I have one of our viewers lives alone. 
She doesn't really have any family left. She said she's on disability. She says she's scared if something happens to her, nobody's going to know. So I said, send me an email. If I don't see you on my lives, then I'll reach out to you. And if I don't hear from you, then I'll contact the police department where you live and send them over to do a well-being, you know, just to make sure you're okay. But yeah. that's the thing. Like, there's lots of people on YouTube that that's their only communication with the outside world. And oh yeah, I mean, we when when someone's not when someone doesn't show up for a while, like when someone's not in the chat, like I'll always say to T, like after the show, I'm like, did you notice so and so wasn't here? Did you notice so and so wasn't there? And yeah. You know, like you get to know all your regular people and speaking of regular people, hello, Bolo Buddies. Bolo Buddies is in the house. Hey, Hi, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Danny May is going. She is out. Have a good night, Danny May. Thanks for joining. And um, when does the happy part start, Jonathan Rose? Jonathan, I'm not ready yet. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh gosh. Enough already. Okay, well, we have 80 people in the chat. Thanks, you guys, for coming. Thank you guys. Wow. We really appreciate it. And as far as what I'm going to bring to auction tonight, um, I have uh I have a sock lot. Donna. I, I thought a, we talked about this. I have a pantyhose lot. Ooh. Okay. Distant relatives, but still in the oh, they are not relatives. She can't like them if they're relatives. She wants to be it would be weird, right? Sorry, Argyle. She doesn't understand. What are you barking at, honey? Um, and then I have plush and I have clothes and I have some one off uh beautiful designer pocketbooks, and I have a crafter's lot, I have jewelry, I have silver. Um, I have some stuff. Wow. Ticket master. Hello. Bring on them hold. Uh, Lori, Lori's our RV life. That's a great little tidbit of information right there. I saw nothing today. People can. She meant saw something. What? What is it? She said she saw something today. People could put a big green piece of paper in their window that indicates they're okay. If there's a red piece of paper in their window, they need help. Oh, it's pretty smart. Yeah. Hi, Lisa's treasure. Hi, Lisa's treasures. Lucinda says, let's talk and roll. Okay, so you guys, um, Ticketmaster Mike. Hey, Michelle. Michelle's in the house. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you for being here. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Um, let's just take a quick look. So um, since Laurie is the guest... I'm going to let Laurie go first. Okay. Let Hi, me. Laurie. And Laurie, I think what we'll do so that we have time to, uh, if we need more time to prepare for lots and, and T, T's going to call it for us. Um, if you need time, I, I like to do it this way. Show two lots and then I'll show two lots. Then you show two lots and then instead of going one, 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 one. Because then that way in between it gives you a little bit of time. Like while you're showing, I okay. can and put a lot together or whatever. So perfect. Does that sound good? Yeah. yeah. Babe, you want to bring me over the first lot? What's that? You want to bring me over the first lot? Yes. They better not be socks either. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you doing a Donna style? I guess unless, well, I could, is it already set up over there? Because uh, yeah. I could send you the link. We can add you in and that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because I'll put him on full screen. That'll be better. I'll put him on full screen, but you'll still be able to talk and T will be able to talk, you know, in case you want to say something. Okay. okay. I'll send it to you now. Yeah. And we'll put him on full screen. Yeah. I'll make the watch really simple. Not to, you know. Okay, I sent it to you. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, so you guys, um, same rules apply as my auction and- Did Donna say rules? What? <laughs> well, I mean, like these kind of rules. <laughs> All items include shipping in the continental USA, and as always, please everyone subscribe to each other for support and just to, to uh, subscribe for future auctions too, so that you. One more rule. 
auctions. The sock is not up for auction. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for joining. So I just wanted to uh, while we get and subscribe to the sock too. And subscribe yeah. to the sock. The sock is getting a lot of subscribers already. I Almost two hundred today. And while we're waiting for Brandon to come on the screen, if everyone could go over, hit the thumbs up, that would be great. I am going to be doing a video tomorrow, so you'll be notified when I um, do my next video, which would be awesome. And another thing that's really, really important that helps the algorithm, you guys, if you if you can, either during the show or if you can come back after the show has been posted, wh whatever you want, if you could make a comment, because that really helps the algorithm, the comments uh, help bring the the channel up into the search, and we have Brandon here, and we're gonna add him. And let me know when you're ready. Oh, look at this! Okay, so this is just a small little knitting lot. Do you know how many total we have? How many sets of those? Did you count them or no? I did not. I would, if I had a guess, I'd say at least fifteen sets. Maybe 20. The, the yarn is really, really nice. It's it's a yarn night. I did some yarn. Um, what do you guys want to start this at? What do you want to start at, babe? Uh, 10 bucks. $10. Those, those ones are huge. I don't think I've ever seen knitting needles that big. Hold that up, honey. Which one? The big ones. On the bottom or on the top of it, you should see like a number. All right, and Michelle Petty's is gonna start us off at 10. Who's gonna come in at 12? 35? Yeah, those are 35 right there. Nancy now at 12. You would ask to see the big one. <laughs> Oh, sock, what are we going to do with you? So that's like a kind of a sea green color that looks like, what is that, blue and white? Multi Multicolor, yeah. It's looks really, like pink, really blue nice and white. Feel to it. it almost feels cashmere-ish. Yeah, it is super soft. That looks like yarn you do to make like a nice baby blanket if you don't know what the sex is going to be. Exactly, yep. Lori said she just subbed to the sock. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Lori. They look like substitute drumsticks. They're so big. <laughs> I know, don't they? They're crazy. All right, we have Nancy at 12. Michelle says she's out. Anyone want to come at 14? Oh, it is baby yarn. Oh, see, I'm not really a knitter. I've never knit my whole entire life. I don't even know. Yeah, it looks very soft, that yarn. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go once to Nancy at 12. Hey, Simply Dana. What's the white stuff? It's yarn, too, I think. Yeah, that's yarn. Yeah. It's very, very soft yarn. Oh, and then for, for anybody, if you pay with uh, Venmo or um, PayPal, just when you send your payment, just send me your address and then um, a small description of the item you won and then your name on YouTube as well. All right, let's go twice now to Nancy at 12. Fair warning. Last and final call for the yarn lot. Going once, going twice, and we are sold. Congratulations, Nancy. Congratulations, Nancy. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and he just takes a minute to put those away and then get the second lot ready. Do you um does that work for you or do you, would you rather do one by one? I'd rather do one by one, but 
You'd rather do one by one? It's easier for you? Okay. All right, we'll do one by one. I'll go next. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, if you could pay right away, because um, we have um, auctions on our channel as well, so it's a little bit easier if we just get payment right away, so that way I don't have to worry about invoicing from different channels that we're on. Okay. Why are you um, are you on other channels too? Well, no, I'm just saying from our own and whatnot. I would never go on other channels, Donna. I'm joking. <laughs> Lori, 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 just make a comment in the um, in the chat. Somebody wants to subscribe this way. They can just hit the three dots next to your name. Okay. Okay. So this is a lot of keychains. This one's kind of creepy. This one is actually, I think, real bugs in there. I think that's like a real beetle. It's like, oh wow! I know it's kind of weird. Um, this is a, a Cadillac one. Um, Notre Dame High School alumni. Um, there's some really pretty, like blingy, blingy ones. We're gonna start this at twenty-five. Um, Donna, what lot number are you up to? Seventeen today? I'm up to eighteen. Eighteen. Um. There's that one. These here are kind of neat. These are like wood carved. This one is an elephant. It's all wood carved. I think it's like a, you know, nicely made Chinese stuff. And this one is like a, this is wood also. And then there's a whole bunch of uh, okay, so there's a whole bunch of American flags, just like regular American flags, like those. And then, like this one here is 2008 supporter. I can't read it, but um, I probably could put my glasses on, but some sort of supporter thing. And these are kind of interesting. These are Lori Yarsby's life said when she first saw that she thought it was a chandelier. Right. What does that say? National Law Enforcement. Yes, yeah, supported 2015. Supporters Fund. And then uh, it's kind of like a mishmash of, whoopsie, this one here. El Gormi something. Spanish? Yeah. Um, this is a, I don't know what this one is. That one's a um, one of those. Is that like one of those balls that you sold one night that I told you? Not? Oh God! <laughs> I don't know. Is it? And uh, Cinderella's carriage. Oh, now, so we were talking about people who haven't been in that. That Ken Ward bought those. Now, have we seen Ken Ward in the last few days? Yes, I've seen Ken Ward. Okay. This one is a coach one. Um, it probably goes to like either a purse or a wallet and somebody may look for that that has a coach wallet or a coach uh, pocketbook and then it has a couple of these these are those pocketbook holders you know that you put your pocketbooks on and it has a whole bunch of these furry ones and so, yeah, just a big mishmash of all different keychains. Is there anyone interested in starting the bid on this? All right, guys, $25 ship to start. Who wants to start us out? Oh, and then I have um, two lanyards. Uh, there's a Magic Kingdom lanyard and a Hello Kitty lanyard that goes with all of the keychains. Thank you, Mark. Mark. And this one says, maybe that's Kathy Ireland. I don't know. It says Kathy on it. Um, how about 20? Anybody want to start the bidding up at 20? $20 for the keychains. Great for people that want to list small things that don't have a lot of space. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy said she just sent payment. Thank you, Nancy. How about 15? Anybody want to start the bidding at 15? No, but the stand is not included. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. I use the stand all the time. We'll start the bidding at 15, 15. Nurse all right. Then at 15. 15. All right. No stand not included. 16 from Harley. No Thank stand. You. 
Thank you. I had to try. <laughs> 20 from Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. 17 from the Nurse Flipper. Your leg in a little bit, maybe. 22 now from Harley Kitten. Thank you, guys. Michelle is out. Okay, hold on. I'm going to sweeten the deal. Yep. Here we go. First and also with this comes... Doo -doo. 25 now from Dennis. He knows she's going to throw something good in. Hey, Cody, man. Hey, Brad. How are you guys? Dennis is at 25. The nurse flipper at 27. Thank you, June. Argyle, you have to have hit 200. I have. Oh, my God. Awesome. Because you I just have awesome. them. You just had five people sub to you in the last minute. That's so awesome. Thank you, everybody. All right, you're going to get them all, including this one. Ah, uh, the lucky chip. The lucky Las Vegas chip. We need some luck over here. <laughs> and here's the bag. Wow. You're getting all this. Everything that's in here. There's all kinds of keychains. It's a mystery bag. Here's a Duck Dynasty lanyard. Paper here's, Munkin. Here's a disco ball in case you get kind of, oh, we should probably hang this up here. Mm -hmm. Right above your head. From when we start to party. <laughs> 29 now from Jolene. So you get all these keychains, just a huge mix. It's like a mystery bag. It's all keychains. It's like a mystery bag of keychains. 32 now from Harley Kitten. Thank you. 35 now from Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. This is a fun bag to go through. Perfect. Even if they got $10 each. Yep. Not only is it a fun listing bag, but it's going to give it's very unhappy. Help you push the time away a little bit. Finding all the stuff in here. Nurse flipping now at 40. Everything's going in. Going in, going in, going in. There's some really, really, really pretty ones in here, too. Really beautiful ones. 're all going in yes if somebody gets this and wants to do an unbagging video for sure that's always a great thing we love when you guys do that on our stuff the nurse slipper at 40 anyone want to go 42 now looking for 42. forty two now from Jolene Jolene. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Dennis now at 45. This is actually really cute. Look at it. It's a it real adorable. Yeah, it's probably, it probably was made to attach to a pocketbook. Yep. Um, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe took it off. So for, for those resellers, I mean, if you post something like this, whoever, this is, you know, this is a real coach tag. Whoever has this pocketbook that this is supposed to, you know, belong to, they'll buy that. Or just buy it as a keychain. Yep. All right, Dennis is at 45. Anyone want to go 47? Okay. Amy Jo. That's all of it. All Thanks. right, the nurse flipping now at 50. Big bag of jewelry. Keychains. I'm so used to saying jewelry. Instead of a jury jar, it's a key jar. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, Brittany, that's nice. awesome. Who else did? Who else said they did a unboxing video earlier? Robert, the plushy king. 
Oh, I need to write this stuff down because I need to go to their channel so that I can put it into my stream. All right, Dennis says he's out. We have the nurse flipper at 50. Let's go once. Brittany and Robert. I have to go watch those videos. Unravel, yeah. <laughs> was it a, was it a big tangled mess? I told you I don't I don't unravel my jewelry. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go twice now to the nurse flipper. Fair warning. Last and final call for the keychains. Going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold for fifty dollars. All right, to so the nurse flipper. Very nice. Hey, Ronnie G. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much. Nice way to start off the auction. I appreciate it. Hi, Ronnie G. All right, are you going T? No, I'll I'll just hang for a while. If you guys need a break or something, then I can do something. But if not, we'll go back. You guys go back and forth. Brandon, are you ready? I'm ready to go, Donna. He's ready, ready to go. Ready to go. Yep. Okay, so this was one of the lots. They're all um, messenger backpacks on the left side. And then what's on the right there? Like a, a little crossbody pouch. They're all genuine leather. Nice lot. It is nice. Can you turn one of them over to show the backpack? It's the European style backpack. <clears throat> Somebody just messaged me on YouTube and said, I'm confused about how to get onto this auction. Oh, they might be on Facebook. Did you post no, it no. on Facebook? No, it came through YouTube. Oh. I'm confused how to get onto this auction. Can someone explain this to me? I want to participate. Do we know who their name is? Um, Holistic Living. Okay, so make a comment in the chat. We'll drop a link where you can send an email to register and then we'll give you a wrench and you'll be blue and you'll be able to bid. Hey, Lori, what are we starting this lot off for? We'll start at 20 bucks. All right. $20 ship to start. Great deal already. And there's a total of six of the um, backpacks. And then how many of the three of the smaller size crossbody um wallets all right uh britney comes in at 20 and um we have a question brandon i don't know if you have measuring tape handy but they're asking about a length on the handle for the okay, let, him, let him grab that real quick all right 25 now from britney 26 from michael 32 from summers 422 35 now from Lori's rv life 40 from betty webb I don't see anybody making a comment in the chat. 45 now from Summers 422. Are any of the, the handles open? Let me come over there so I can open the handle on the back. 55 now from Lori. 57 from Summers. Betty is out. I'll just open no, no, the cross body one, honey. The, Lori, uh, Lori, not that one. Not the that cross one. body. No, the cross body. Yeah. <laughs> and then it has. So you can Flip make it as long as it's probably. Um, 65 now from Lori's RV life. Yeah, I measured these. These ones right here, uh, T, these are 14 inches in height by uh, 10 inches in width. Thank you, Cha Cha. I appreciate you going over and doing that for me. I don't know where my. I don't know where my little measuring tape went, guys. But I would say. Those, uh, those are going to uh, sit right on there. They're 24 inch. For the string? Yeah. Okay, so that's just a little mobile one. 
It's got a it's got a spot for change. Yep. It's got a zipper for money or cash. Then it has another zipper. No, they weren't branded uh, flamingo. For your phone. Oh, that's this one. Yeah. And yeah, Argyle makes a comment in the soft. chat. Somebody yeah, wants to soft. subscribe. This one. I don't want. I don't want to do this just because obviously preserve the newness of it. Yeah. That one. So, um, but obviously you can get the idea. They're pretty. Uh, and those are adjustable straps as well. Yeah. And they also the the zipper goes down here, so you can have a one shoulder strap or you can have a two shoulder strap for a backup style. Yeah. All right. We have Lori's RV life at sixty five. Who wants to do seventy? All right, Sylvia's out. No, Tammy, they're on Brandon, honey. Six of the big bags. She has this six in total of the big bags and three on the crossbody. Seventy to Tammy. Tina is out. All right, Flamingo and uh Lori's RV, just let me know where you stand. Flaming, flipping Flamingos is out. We have Tammy at 70. Lori's RV life is out. Okay, Summers is out. All right, let's go once to Tammy at 70. Up, oh, 75 now to Susan. Yeah, and the leather is super, super soft. It's um, subtle leather. it's a what? Leather. Yeah. Yeah, you can you, you can almost actually see that it's a soft leather. Yeah, that's how well it, it looks. All right, we have Susan now at seventy five. Tammy, do you want to come in at eighty? Eighty now to Tammy. Yeah, the small little crossbodies, it's it's kind of cool because whenever I used to take the kids to Disney or to Universal, that way I could just, you know, carry my essentials, my money and my phone and literally throw one around my my side. I have one that's wasn't as nice as this one. <laughs> it was just a cheap little uh white cloth one just, you know, but they're super convenient if you're going to, you know, any amusement parks or you know, someplace out in public where you don't want to carry a big bag and yep. just have your essentials there. All right, Susan is in at 85 now. Yeah, Summer's 422. The small one is for like the big pockets for your cell phone, the second pockets for like your cash, and then there's a little change purse at the bottom there. The flip up is a change purse. No, I know Joy. Joy's on Long Island with me. so I know like, Joy. We're not either, but that's... We're not problem. allowed out in public. <laughs> yeah, there's six large bags and three of the small ones. Yes, Amy Jo, it's a nice feature. Tammy comes in at 90. Yeah, and my daughter, she actually uses the small European style backpacks because rather than carrying, like if she's going out to the park or something with the kids, instead of carrying the big diaper bag, she throws some wipes and a couple diapers and like a messenger backpack and then her money and her phone and she's good. So yeah, that's even cool. good just to wear if you're running, you know, to the store or something. Because now, you know, all the plastics have been banned, you know, you have to bring your own bag. And if you want to just have something easy to carry on you. Exactly. A lot of people just doing that rather than just the big grocery bags. 
All right, we're gonna go once to Tammy at 90. Yep. Susan, let me know where you stand. Lots of little pockets too, which is pretty awesome. I won't buy a, a purse or anything unless I have lots of little pockets. <laughs> Susan is out. All right, going twice now to Tammy at 90. Fair warning, last and final call to Tammy for $90, going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are at 95 with Lori's RV life. <laughs> <laughs> last second, the last second. Last second. <laughs> All right, Lori's in at 95. Do we get a Benjamin out of this one? First Benjamin of the night, maybe. Hey, it's about to get real. How you doing, Kim? Thanks for coming in. All right, 95 now to Lori's RV life on the bags. You can stuff a lot of socks in that bed. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Don't piss Argyle off. <laughs> there it is, the Benjamin from Tammy. One hundred Christine, <laughs> good grief. And 110 now from Lori's RV Life. Yeah, great question, Sylvia. Jill, hopefully your son is doing well. I know the surgery went well. We were all saying prayers for him. He had a bad motorcycle accident yesterday. Oh, no. Yeah, he had some surgery today. He, they had to fix his jaw. <laughs> Kathy, she's so funny. Argyle, subbed and commented to your drawer. Uh, I mean channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 110 now to Lori. Tammy, let me know where you stand. We'll go once to Lori at 110. This setup looks like QVC. Thanks, Dennis. We'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> well, thank you, Dennis. <laughs> Argyle at 210 subs. Amazing. Wow. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> All right. Tammy is out. Going twice now. Fair warning. Last and final call. For $110 to Lori's RV Life, going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold. Congratulations. That, that was an awesome, awesome yeah. lot, for sure. Yeah. Brandon's sitting there over there with the, the iPad going like this over them, and he's like, you can actually like smell the leather, and it smells yeah. so good. <laughs> Those were awesome. That was a great deal for a reseller. Absolutely. Congratulations. Okay. We're going to, um, I'm going to do these, this uh, lot of uh, crocheted blankets. I'm going to stand up and show it to you. This one, we're going to start it at $25. This one is made of chenille. Beautiful. Really beautiful. It's chenille yarn. All right, lab number 19 for Donna, crocheted blankets, $25 shipped to start. Very pretty. Really nice. Yep, it is. And then this one is actually really beautiful as well. They're perfect for either, um, um, this one says, made with love by grandma. Um, they're either perfect for a baby's crib or perfect for like a lap blanket or on your shoulders blanket or just a baby gift if you need a baby gift. So there's the white one, the blue and white one, and then there's this pretty yellow one. This is just a small one, perfect for like a carriage. 
for a baby. And the last one is this one. And this is also chenille. Lori's RV Life. I'll, I'll um, post that in again. Hold on. Just got to find my link again. Maybe so. I, I think um, somebody else was posting. Michelle or Penny, if one of you can drop that, that would be great. All right. Kay, Kay Flanagan starts us off at 25, Donna. Okay. And this is really beautiful, too. A lot of love went into making these. They're all in excellent condition. Thank you, Penny. And there you have it. It's a lot of four. Blue and white. So I just got a question if they can bid on here if they don't have Venmo. Yes, guys, you can pay by PayPal. It's either PayPal or Venmo. So if you have PayPal, you can pay on PayPal as well. Yep, either one. Um, does anybody else want to come in? All right, we have K at 25. It's a great lot, guys. Beautiful blankets. Twenty-seven now from Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. Yes, Michelle, they do, right? They're beautiful. Susan knows because Susan, um, Susan. Labor of love for sure. Yes. Yeah. Kate Flanagan's at 29. And these are great resellers on eBay, you guys. You got to look them up. Take your time to look them up. You'll see what they sell for. Crocheted blankets sell for good money. They take so much time to make and they're, you know, I've, I've always wanted to, to learn how to make it. My grandmother taught my, my daughter, but I never had time to learn. So I've always wanted to learn how to make a blanket like that. I know how to do it. Do you? I do. I know how to knit, crochet, sew, cook. I'm the typical Italian girl. I could cook. I just can't crochet. I could sew. <laughs> I can't do any of those wifely, motherly things. <laughs> My son came to me one day and he said, Mom, could you teach me how to iron? I said, as soon as someone teaches me. <laughs> Sometimes it's really tough being so domestic. I remember one year, you know, my kids are all a year apart. So they were like, I don't know, like five, six, seven, and eight years old. And we were invited to a Halloween party. At, an, at a neighbor's house, and I insisted on making the kids Halloween costumes. The girls went as princesses, and the boys went as prince. And I made their outfits. I made the girls' outfits, and I made my son's outfit. And then I wanted to bring something, so I made my, you know, famous biscotti that I brought over to the house. So, like, I, I was, like, I worked for, like, days to get ready to go to this party between making the costumes and cooking and... You know, and then I'm looking at my other friends and my other friends are walking in. And their kids have store-bought costumes and they have like a tray of cookies from the supermarket, you know, and they're like all fresh and happy. And I'm like, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working for days at the sewing machine, out the glue gun, out the sparkles, running to the, thr to the thrift store, not thrift store, the craft store to get... Uh, I, just, I hear you. I used to do the same thing with my kids. I would go so creative and artistic and everything. And then, okay, I will, Lori's RV Life. And then, um, you know, they'd be like, Mom, we went to school and everybody had costumes from, you know, from the store and, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, hey. I took the time, I made yours, and you look way better than them. You'll look <laughs> back on this in years to come, right. and you'll regret wanting a store-bought you know, costume. My mother made me a costume every single year for Halloween. Wow. I used to do the same. I yeah. always made my kids' costumes. Every year I made my kids' costumes. Did you ever, did you ever save them? Or? 
No, uh -uh. He actually saved them. Yeah. No, as a matter of fact, the one year that I really like, I remember I made Massimo. Um, I was pregnant with Denali and I made Massimo a tiger and I, I, you know, the yarn and I even put like a the uh, Jeez, yeah. metal coat hanger in the yeah. tail so the tail would stand straight up instead of being drooping down. I mean, I put so much love into that. And that day I had a uh, appointment to go check Denali's heartbeat. I was pregnant with Denali and yeah. I had an appointment with the doctor to go check the heartbeat and the doctor couldn't find the heartbeat. Oh, so they sent me to the hospital to have like the more sophisticated ultrasound done to see if they could find the heartbeat. And there was a horrible car crash and my husband and I had to sit there and wait. He, he eventually took Massimo home because Massimo was a baby. And um, I had to sit there and wait, not knowing like they had all this trauma going on and I had to wait like four or five hours. They found the heartbeat, the baby. Okay. Was, we missed Halloween. Jeez. Yeah, because by the time I got out, it was like midnight. Uh, we missed Halloween. I spent weeks making Massimo's Halloween costume and we were just gonna go to my parents' house, his parents' house, my sister's house, my brother's house. You know, when the kids were, he was a baby, you know, just right. to, yeah, totally missed Halloween. Hello. Oh, we, we have the same run for our kids now for years. I mean, living in Vegas, we, we know exactly the house we go to when we're done, and that's that. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. it's very simple. Nothing so different. I'm super crafty. I'll show you guys what I made for my grandbabies. So these are all in shadow boxes. Oh, how cute. You took wow. the baby so That's their original um, little diaper they came home with. That's the original pacifier from the hospital. They got their hospital band, their original outfit that they came home from the hospital in. And then it shows um, their footprints at the top. Aw, I like footprints. And then there's another one I did. This is for my little Sadie. Oh, you did such a nice job. Good for you. Those are beautiful. That's for my little Aubrey. Nice work. I'm so jealous that everybody's so talented. <laughs> and that's for my little Tessie. <laughs> oh, so cute. Really nice. All okay. right, where are we at at the bidding? Somebody's asking. Let's see. We're at K Flanagan at 29. Let's go once to K. K Flanagan at $29. Does anybody else want to come in? These anybody want to come? 31. Beautiful. beautiful blankets, guys. Them. Penny's asking, Lori, what size shadow box did you use? Um, I believe we use uh, 18, by 20, by 20s. 18 by 20s. Yeah, 18 by 20s. Okay. Yeah. Nice size ones. Yeah. And cool. the best part about it is, you know, if you have more than one grandbaby, you just use your 40% off coupon and do it like, you know, do one each week and then use your coupon next week for it because they do get super expensive for that size shadow box. So. Yeah. All right, let's go twice now. Let's call it. Fair warning. Nancy said her daughter's name is Aubrey, too. Oh, how nice. She spells it the same, too. Oh, Nancy bids 31. Oh, thank you, Nancy. This one is actually my favorite one of them all. This one here. I love this one. This one's beautiful. It is so super soft. It looks it, yeah. It's super, super, super. It's it's chenille. It's super, super soft. It's beautiful. You can see the chenille. Nice. Yeah. Very pretty. Super pretty. All right. We have Nancy at 31. Who wants to come in at 33? And even the lace on it is pretty. You know, the trim, they did a beautiful job with the trim on it. All right, Kay says she's out. Okay. Yeah, John costs more than the bid. Yeah, yeah that it does. I know. All right, we'll go once to Nancy at 31. <laughs> you and me both, Kim. I can't do all that, but I can build the shadow hugs. <laughs> all right. Fair warning, the thirty-one dollars to Nancy Cipriano going once, going twice, 
And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Nancy Cipriano. Congratulations, Nancy. Okay. Are you ready, Brandon? Good. Yeah. We are good. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share this picture. Oh my gosh, this is so great. Michelle, can I share? I think I can share. This is Michelle Petty sent me this. She said, I only have four legged babies. She said, but I dress them up for Halloween. And look at what she did for her. Look at her. Look at. Oh my oh. goodness. That is adorable. Oh, wow. Isn't that awesome? I oh, love it. Gosh, she did. I love it. She made the dog like a Clydesdale. Oh my nice. God. Oh that's my goodness, awesome, that is spectacular. Michelle. That's awesome, Michelle. Nice job. Wow. That's a nice way to be able to share stuff. Sometimes I wish I could like share something that like when, when I'm on someone's live, like I wish I could send them a picture and you can't send them a picture on on um you know on YouTube. So it's good to be able to like when you have the you know phone number. If anybody wants my phone number, it's, my phone number is pretty easy to get. I have it listed all over social media, or you can just ask me if you email me. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so $31 to Nancy. Let me put you, Brandon, you're ready, sweetheart, right? All right, there you go. And this is another lot of the leather. So now we have two of the um, European backpacks. And then these are, are those the totes or are those the messenger bags? Those are the totes. I believe those are the totes. The messenger bags are different. Two totes, and I believe you have one purse, correct? One purse, two totes, and... Yeah, it's on right now. So two of the, the same messenger bags as before. What do you want to start this off at, Lori? 20 bucks. $20. All right. Again, the genuine leather. All right, Bobby Pizzelli starts us off at 20. Brittany now at 25. Hey, Wendy, Wonder Woman, 30. I just had something here. 35 now to Bobby. Well, it's the iPad 40 bag. now to Wonder Woman. Yeah, it's like an iPad bag. Yeah, or... bag, yeah. A tablet bag, yeah. yeah. Yep. 45 now from Summers, 422. And then that one down there is the same as that one. So, yep, exactly. Got it. So one, one purse, two. <laughs> so one more way. It confuses the purse as well. Or a messenger tote, yeah. Mm. A little tote. Yep. Fifteen out of Wonder Woman. Brittany is out. Fifty-five now to Summers four two two. Wonder Woman says she's out. Bobby, you want to go sixty? We have Summers four two two at fifty-five. Sixty now to Bobby.
Yes, they're all leather. Yeah, all genuine leather. Susan's asking if she can see the big bag, the purse. Yep, hold on. Funny. No, Susan. So there's one purse. This is the purse that Lori's showing. And then um, there are two totes and two me and two messenger bags or backpacks, whatever you. It's like an iPad or. Um, messenger bag. Thank messenger you, Angela. Bag. Thank you so much. Well, your bag was cross-bodied. Yeah. So it's more like a tote. Let's see. Look right here. Um, that's why that's... Oh, you're right. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, you're right. All right. Okay. Summer's 422 is out. Cool. You're right. All right. So we have the two totes, the two backpacks, and the purse. And we have $60 from Bobby. Anyone want to come 65 All right, we're going to go once to Bobby at 60. Going twice now. Fair warning, last and final call to Bobby Pizzelli at $60, going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Bobby Pizzelli for $60. Congratulations, Bobby. Ooh. Nice. Congratulations, Bobby. Thank you. Did we lose you, Donna? <laughs> no. I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm here. Um, okay, I will do a lot of flush. I will do a lot of plush. All right. So the first one is this cute little Disney. Um, I don't know what it is. $25 to start. It's a... Uh, Pure white, not a stain on it. Pegasus, yes. It's a Pegasus. It's adorable. Oh, God, Christine. Christine B says it's snowing there. Oh, my goodness. This one here is not a shelf pull. The tag is pretty faded. I, I don't know who it is. <laughs> I think he's from the Lorax. I have no idea. Let's see. Like I thought maybe it was a, a character from um, um, Dr. Seuss. Yeah, Dr. Seuss. Yeah, yeah. that's what I thought too. Yeah, that Dr. Would be Seuss. Lorax was Dr. Seuss, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's Lorax. Is it? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, there you go. That's who it is. But his tag is faded. <clears throat> so there's that one. And this is, uh, all right, here's, uh, here's a good money one. This one is F-A-O okay, Schwartz. And, yeah, it's adorable. <laughs> Sock doesn't oh. like dogs. It is so cute. Look at him. I oh, don't. He's like cute. Yeah. He is adorable. F.A.O. Schwartz. He's adorable. He looks brand new. And who's this guy? This one is the Toy Factory. So it's just, uh, it's a monkey. It's a monkey from the toy factory. Just an orange monkey. Maybe one of Trump's relatives. I'm not up for auction, Don. <laughs> and here's Good night, Courtney. Monkey. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, Courtney. This one is a build a bear. And let me see. 25 now from Don. He doesn't play anything. If you squeeze me like that, I'll play something. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another build a bear. Who oh who's this guy? This is uh oh he's pretty fancy. Look at him. Wow. Huh. That's Beast from Beauty oh, and the Beast. Beast from Beauty and the Beast. That's what I just said. Sorry, Sock. We were saying it at the same time. <laughs> Great minds think alike. You're right. right. Beauty and the Beast. There's Beast from Beauty and the Beast. 27 now to Jill. Kind of like Lori and Brandon. And this one. <laughs> uh, he's just a, just a cute cat. 30 now from Dawn. Green scarf. It's a leopard, leopard looking cat. 32 from Summers. Um, Ramona, uh, I don't know. I hope you're not lagging. Ramona says desert hunters can get more money if they sniff the leather. <laughs> <laughs> this one is a marble. 35 now from Dawn. That was Iron uh, Man. Here's another marble. Captain America. I think like Argyle's here. And this one is Nickelodeon. I have no idea what this is. Let's see if you know what this is. It says, it says Nickelodeon on it. That I don't it's like a radio with microphones. I don't know, but it says Nickelodeon. 37 from Summers, 40 now from Dawn. Snoopy. And. This little girl, let's see if she's got a tush tag. No, Brian. Hey, Mr. Vizalad. Brian wants to know if he missed story time. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. We're waiting for story time. This is just a little kitten with uh, her head is posable and she's got a little velvet jumper on. All right. Joy came in at 42. We have Dawn now at 45. That's one. Didn't you just order a book about cats, Miss Donna? Two, three. I think I did. <laughs> Joey Pengram posted a book on auctions for you. You have to put me on the screen because I have to delete it. <laughs> Five. What's that? I said Joey Pengram put a book on auctions for you that he wants you to read, but I have to delete it. So you have to put me up and then I got to get rid of it. <laughs> Seven. How are you going to do that? Eight. Um, delete it from my page. Oh. Nine. Nobody's going to understand it unless they come in here. So <laughs> I'll show it quick and then I'm going to get rid of it. Is it inappropriate, Miss T? Yes. Yay! It's right up your, it's right up your alley. <laughs> I love being inappropriate. And 12. We know. 12 flush. Thank you, April. 12 plush. All right. We have 45 from Dawn. Anyone want to go 47? Little bunny foo-foo. I came in for my Argyle fix. Oh, 
All right, Bobby said she sent you the payment, Lori. Okay, perfect. Via, via PayPal. Wonderful. All right, let's go up. Oh, Jill comes in at 47. Thank you, Jill. Fifty now to Don. Thank you, Don. Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the few mice and popping them on the head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go once to Don now at fifty. And going twice now to Don at 50. Jill, Jill, let me know where you stand, honey. Jill, are you out? Type out so we don't leave anybody behind. All right, Jill says she's out. Fair warning. Last and final call. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Don Bargain Hunter for $50. Congratulations, Don. You know you don't get to suck, Don. Oh, Ramona's, Ramona's uh, lagging a lot because she just answered your question from way back then. Oh, yeah. All right, put me on full screen for a minute. I just want to make a comment. Oh, okay. Uh, Brian, really? What do we, chop liver? <laughs> Seriously? What did he say? What did he say? He said, um, I came because I haven't seen Brandon and Laurie in years. Miss seeing them. Oh. Really? Somebody That's time him out. Somebody, somebody time him out, please. Brian. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, the sure. public and the desert hunters. <laughs> I, I see you guys all the time, he writes. <laughs> yeah. All right. You're forgiven. All it's right. Forgiven. We are on all the time. All right. Brandon, are you ready, honey? Oh, wait a minute. You're gonna I'm gonna do this first. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah. So I guess Joey Joey Pengram found this and he put it on auctions for you, but I I, I think I'm gonna have to delete it because it comes from mommy needs vodka. <laughs> Day three, inappropriate elf on a shelf story time. And this is this is the book. Do you want to play with my balls? Oh, oh my gosh, I know that book. I know that book. It really is a book. It really is a book. I know that. I know that book. I know you would, Miss Donna. <laughs> so should I leave it up or should I delete it? No, I think you should leave it up. All right. I think that's hysterical. I think that's so funny. <laughs> uh oh. Oops. Oops. I think. Okay, okay. No, there it is. Oh, sorry. No, that's okay. Brandon's like, oh, gotta go. <laughs> okay, hold on. Yeah, these ones are a little bit different. You want to come over here? Or? Yeah, I'll come over there. Probably easier. These are the mini square ID bags with the backpacks, too. So if you want to, these are the new, new ones, the mini square ID bags. Yeah. This has an adjustable strap. We have two different zippers. <laughs> Brandon is like the male version of that of white. <laughs> what did she say? Brandon's the male version of Vanna White. <laughs> we went from QVC to Vanna White. <laughs> Again, they're all genuine leather. 
You got four of those, right? There's so we have, yeah, we have four of those. And then we have a regular full-size backpack, yeah. also with the zipper, so that you carry it on one shoulder, or you can unzip it and carry it on two. Velcro on the front pocket. And then each one of those has an additional oh, one of these right here. One of the pocket. Okay. Are we starting these off at twenty again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have three full size backpacks, each one with the little genuine leather um, cell phone carrier. Okay, and this one does have it undone to kind of get an idea. All right, Brittany starts us off at twenty. Like patchwork on the back, which is super nice. Quilted, I guess, yeah. Quilted, yep. 24 again, now from these ones are all sealed, genuine leather. Yep. Cool. Brittany now at 26. That one have it or is this one this? Uh, yeah, I, I took that one just for show. 40 now from Tina. So there's three full size backpacks. With three cell phone carrying cases. Cross bodies. Cross bodies. And then you've got a little messenger bag. You could also use this as a fanny pack too. Yes. So you could strap like a thin belt through there, but then it also has your strap inside. And they're all leather too. They are all genuine leather. All right, 55 now from Tammy. One ten, Lori. Good night, Penny. I wish I could smell them. They smell delicious. You bet. 60 from Tina. No. No. <laughs> no. 66 from Tammy. Bill, I don't know if they know that. They're asking if you know what the retail price is. Yeah, the retail on these, there was one that had the price tag on it again. It's probably an overinflated. That's on. It's yeah. probably an overinflated uh, price uh, tee, but I, uh, each one of, one of them has it on there. It was like $99 each. Um, they were made by a company called Bikeaware Plus, which is really big about five years ago, but they folded. Um, and everything they did was all leather or really kind of higher end shirts, that sort of thing. All right, Tina's now at 70. Who wants to do 75? Brittany, I'm not able to smell because they they didn't make it to where I could smell, so I couldn't smell smelly feet. 75 now from Susan. <laughs> Brian. I was thinking oh. clean, but I was trying to keep it clean. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know if I'd necessarily say there were biker bags. The, the company did do a lot of like shirts for bikers and stuff like that, but um, 
I think they just tried to dwell into, you know, the leather market. market and, you know, then his whole company went under. Um, yeah, my understanding was he sunk hundreds of thousands of dollars against the receipts and he just, um, it went huge. And then something happened to him where. I, yeah, I don't know what happened to him, but he just kind of disappeared, disappeared off, off the face of the earth. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. So we have Tammy now at 80. <clears throat> Tina, you want to go 85? Susan, let me know where you stand. We have 80 from Tammy. Susan says she's out. One more time on the on the name. <clears throat> Tina missed it. One more time on the name. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me see right here. A bike aware plus. The, so, do you see the name that's on the bag itself? Well, they were they were basically modeled the company that actually made made this design or their own design was uh, bike aware. Where being spelled W A R E. Biker wear. All right, we have Tammy at 80. We're gonna go once to Tammy. Ladies, let me know where you stand here. I know Susan said she's out. Yes, Brittany, where, W-A-R-E, correct, yes. And I think, Lori, they were based out of Las Vegas too, right? Yeah. They, yeah, they were based out of Las Vegas. All right, Tina and Summers are out. Let's go twice now. Fair warning, last and final call. Going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Tammy for eight dollars. Nice. Congratulations, Tammy. Congratulations. 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 What did it sell for? 80. 80. Awesome. Great, great. Hey, Donna, do you mind if I just take a quick moment just to kind of give everybody kind of the a public information announcement? Um, I do. We were on Facebook last night, believe it or not, on one of the buy, uh, uh, the resale sites. And if you can believe me, on a public market like Facebook, this lady was selling fake Louis Vuittons on live. a live and Gucci and Chanel blatantly. So I don't know if you guys ever come across this. Be careful because not only is it illegal to sell them, it's illegal to buy them. And she was legitimately doing this to people that just thought they were getting the deal of the century. And she's selling Louis Vuittons for 150 Chanel's for 90 you know. So just kind of the FYI, it's really... That's I I've never seen in my life like that, but we witnessed it for a good half an hour until we were, you know. Wow. We just, yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. I'm um, just blatantly doing it on Facebook. So just be careful because that seems to be the new scam out there right now on Facebook Live. Yeah, because you know a lot of people don't know. A lot of right. people, you know, they they come to they come here to Chinatown and they, you know, they think they can just buy this knockoff That's stuff. Fine. They can get so they can get arrested along with the people that do it. I had, you know, when I was a trainer for Chase and I used to have my four fellow trainers come in, they're like, oh, let's go down to Chinatown so I can buy a purse. I'm like, no. Oh, no, no, absolutely not. <laughs> no. Just just for everybody, you kind of be careful. I know you probably know about it, Don, and you too, T, but um, yeah. it was just kind of mind-blowing that uh, I watched with my own eyes. I could not, she had a whole rack. So, I mean, if she got busted and the cops knew where she was, she would at least look at 10 years in jail minimum. Yeah. Right. Blame on a live, you know, Facebook, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay, so Lori, I did get your payment. Thank you. We got that all squared away. <laughs> we were having issues there for a second. <laughs> we got it. You want to show something? Show something. Come on, T. Yeah, yeah T. Show us something. Show show us something. Yeah. So far, I got I got Nancy and I got Lori. All right, and we're waiting. I think on Bobby. Yep. And Tammy, and Tammy just purchased this this one. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. Tina brings up an interesting point. She says, I only attend auctions of people I know to be reputable and that would have raised, that would have raised a huge flag. And I'll take that as a compliment, Tina. Thank you so much for being here. Jill said, I bought fake purses at an online auction. Yeah. I know all about that. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a shame. I mean, if I don't know a bag, and I'm not the expert, I'll tell you, Don has helped me and Jenea have helped me to kind of really look at a bag and determine if it's real or not, because I'm not an expert. And I'm, I'm, not, not, a, I'm not an expert either. I just know by looking you know, like at the stitching, bit, yeah. yeah, I know that you have to look at the stitching and you have to look at like, uh, if, if there's even one loose thread, yep, one loose thread, that's it. And right. if the stitching doesn't just perfectly line up with the seam, like precise, yep. then you're done. It's a fake. Another day giveaway to uh, Donna is, um, I mean, I watched one of the other, I, I don't want to say the name, but when you're seeing plastic around a, um, and again, I do being from Boston, I used to sell these kind of a, a purveyor of all sorts. I used to do this every day. The yeah, Zip Gucci, Zip. Chanel, Louis, they don't put plastic around their, their shoulder straps. They don't do that. They no. don't bend them up. Um, no. They, they don't do any of that. You might see a serial number in there, but believe me, it's not hard to put a serial number in that yeah. goes back to nothing. Yeah, uh, Tamara, yeah. you can, um, if you just put um, regular backpacks, that way I'll know that it's not the European style backpacks. That's that's the easiest way to distinguish yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Yes, absolutely, Tina. I always, if I'm not sure, I'll say it. I'll say, I'll say that it's not that I'm. And that's why sure. it's like, even when we had um, a couple weeks back, you know, like every time we do jewelry, we explain that majority is costume. You might find some silver, you might find some gold. We don't go through it. Um, we hope you do, but honestly, whatever jewelry we find, we just literally put aside, put aside, put aside. You know, and I don't have any time in my day to go through jewelry. So we just kind of bulk it together and that's it and sell a big, huge lot. And um, I know I said it on my live last night that, um, three people come to me now that found yeah, three people have come to us, found gold. And then Cindy in her last lot just found a, a half carat diamond. Oh, no way. Yeah. She's like, I feel like I should split it with no, you. We're like, no, much. absolutely not. She had yeah, that happened. Everything. That happened to me. One of was someone in, in one of my customers. I sold her. It was a teapot with um, sugar and creamer, and it ended up being solid sterling silver. It yeah. was black and tarnished and gross. And T, you sold a gold piece. I did. I <laughs> sold to Rachel Boyd. She bought something, and it was like uh, you know, I started the bid off at ten or twenty dollars, and I think I got one or two bids, and it landed up being like a piece worth like three hundred. Wow. <laughs> I don't know jewelry that well. I honestly don't. It's not my forte. It's not, you know, it's not something that I'm that familiar with. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I'm not buying all the stuff like the testers and the gem testers and the diamond. I, like, I, it's not something I want to, like, really concentrate on. There's a lot of jewelry sellers out there. But speaking of jewelry, I'll sell a jewelry lot. This actually came from Brian. Mr. Buys a lot with my clothing lot. So I'll I'll present this. This is actually, it's the December, looks like the garnet um, simulated stone um, earrings. It's an 18 inch chain. It's sterling silver and uh, it's got a tree on it for the holiday. And we'll start this off at 10 shipped. Ha ha, Brian. Hey, listen, it's all about making money. Yeah, Tamara, um, so the other orders were dropped off Saturday. However, um, our, UP, our UPS closed early, so they won't go out until tomorrow. So they're going to come in two separate packages, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Um, so one's already sent, and I'll I'll try to update that tracking number tomorrow when I drop off these ones, too. So I'll do all my tracking tomorrow. Susan, it's like a garnet color. It's like a yeah, red garnet. It's, red. It's, it's red. It's very pretty. 18-inch chain. Little tree on it. I'll just show if we want to see what the uh, it looks like. The chain is still in. Um, here's the back. Whoops. Whoopsie. So sterling silver trio earring set studs cross. Who? Don L comes in at ten dollars. Hey Don, thank you Don. How are you, hon? And the um. The chain is still in the bag. The earrings have the pierced backs. Yep, that's the retail from Sears. 
Susan at 12 and Don back in at 15. Thank you. Thank you guys. Hey, Chris. Chris the Goose. <laughs> hey, you Chris. Home, buddy? Susan now at 20. Don at 25. Chris is tired. He's been shipping like crazy. Oh, my gosh. Did you see the picture of his back of his truck? <laughs> yes, I did. He sent it. Susan Arrington's at 27. Thank you, Susan. Guys, chit chat while you do that. I'm going to, Brandon's talking to his mom real quick. I'm going to get our next lot set up. So, okay. okay. If I don't answer, it's because I can't hear you guys yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. Dawn now at 30. And um, I was going to say, if she wants to take a couple minutes after this, I'll do my giveaway. All right. Susan says she's out. We'll go once to Dawn at 30. Going twice now to Don at 30. Fair warning. Last and final call. $30 to Don. Going once. Going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Don. The $30. Congratulations, Don. Thank you, hon. Don, are you here? I am. I'm going to have you draw a number. I'm going to do a giveaway. All right, honey. All right. Are you ready, Argyle Sock? I am. All right. Since the kids are home and everybody's kind of kind of caught in their house, we'll put a couple of. Let me see. This looks empty. It is empty. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> Goes to show you don't check things either. Okay. <clears throat> the winner of this lot is. Sophia Oyola. <laughs> oh, Sophia. Oh, Sophia was here. Sophia, the kids DVD lot. Sophia, you in the chat? Chris said he went through 15 rolls of tape today. Wow. On one of my regular shipping days, like on just an average shipping day, I go through two rolls of tape. Let me just see if Sophia is still here. She was here earlier. No, she's gone. She's gone. And just so you guys know what they are, I didn't get a chance to show them. It's a sealed um, Thunderbirds Argo. So it's a kid's. It's a kid's DVD lot. You got the Grinch. You got the tail of. <coughs> uh oh, got creative got vocabulary. Buddy, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> you got Elf. <laughs> you got. Voltron, and you got the borrowers. All right, draw another name. Paul, oh, and Nelly. <laughs> Paul, are you here? <laughs> no. He's not here? Paul's probably sleeping already. 11 o'clock. Yeah, it's past his bedtime. All right, ready? Matt Jones. I don't think I saw Matt. No. Did I? Oh, maybe we did see Matt. Yeah, I think you wrenched him in the beginning. He's here. You did wrench him in the beginning. Matt Jones. Yes. There he is. Yay. Yay. Congratulations, Matt. Congratulations. Okay. All right, I'm going to do my next slot. All right. Okay. It's a Dolores slot. It's a Dolores slot. That means it's organized. It's a Dolores <laughs> slot. It's all neat and organized. She neat and organized it for me, but she did not 
it's uncurated so i don't know what's in here and i didn't open them up all i can guarantee is is that they are all matches oh and this one is all rings oh wow this whole bag is all rings so it's kind of like buying a jewelry jar but um i have her put them in these bags because she takes the time to match them all because I can't do a jewelry jar of earrings because if you only get one and then you don't get another, it's just a fiasco. So here we go. We're going to start bidding off on this. If I do, um, there's one, two, three, four, there's five bags. We'll start it at $30. Okay. I'll Is this 21 or 22 for you? 21. 21. Okay. All right. Lot 21. $30. So there's the first bag. They're all matched. There's the second bag. There's the third bag. A lot of earrings in here. There's the fourth bag. And this one is all rings. And I didn't even look in here. This is all rings. Oh, and can I, Sandy Brown asked about a number. Sandy Brown's number is 63. Not that you need to know it, Sandy, but you do have a number from way back when. 63. All right, Brittany comes in at 30. One, two, three, four, five bags total. 35 to Lucinda. That's a lot of jewelry. Did she notice if any were signed? No, Jill. She just put them in the bags. I bet you some of these are signed. These are pretty funky looking. These look vintage. All right, Brittany came back in at 37. Lucinda at 39. We have Heidi now at 41. So I, I say this every once in a while, and if there's new people in here, I saw someone that was selling jewelry, and they were using old greeting cards with pictures to put the earrings in, like put them in the pictures to list them on eBay, and I thought it was the cutest idea ever to do that. Yeah, because sometimes it's so hard to display. Yeah, don't you think the greeting card is such a cute idea? Yeah. Because, you know, when we've even tried to put it on the boards and stuff, I bought that styrofoam, they were falling off, and yeah, it, it didn't work. didn't work. All right, we have Lucinda at 45. I'm uh, sorry, Dawn came in at 45, Lucinda at 47. Heidi is out. All earrings, no rings, just earrings. All, no, rings. Oh, rings too. I'm sorry. This is all rings. Rings, okay. These are all rings. That's an interesting ring in there. It looks like a watch band. Four, five. Yeah, there's, it's a stretchy ring. Out, but I see money. All right. Sizes. 47 to Lucinda. Jill's asking about how it's done with the greeting cards. 
So all they did was they took the, the picture of a greeting card, like if it was a Christmas tree, for example, and they put the two earrings like as ornaments on the Christmas tree. Or like say it was an Easter card and there was like uh, an Easter bunny or something and he was holding a basket. They put the two earrings like dangling from the basket, like put oh. them inside. And then they took a picture of the greeting card and then the earrings were in the greeting card. It was really oh. cute. Yeah, hey, Miss Martha, thanks for coming in. All right, we're gonna go once to Lucinda at forty-seven. All right, going twice now. Fair warning, last and final call. Oh. Tammy's at forty-nine. <laughs> Five bags. I'll call it five bags of jewelry. 51 now to Lucinda. Looking for 56 now. Oh my gosh. I just want to go write the year and I put the number eight first. We haven't been in the 80s. Oh, my gosh. Okay. years. Oh, man. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> wow. All right. Lucinda at 51 going once. <laughs> it's true, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> going twice. I can't make it up. No, I haven't been drinking, Kevin. <laughs> He's like, hmm. Fair warning. No, last and me. final call to Lucinda at 51. Ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Lucinda for $51. Congratulations. Congratulations, Lucinda. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you. All right, is Brandon ready? She's got her microphone off. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do one from here. I'm almost ready. I'm the only problem is is I'm trying to find the lengths on these, but I have two. Um, brand they're brand new, super expensive and beautiful. Um, these are curtains. Oh yeah. Um. It's for these are from Bye Bye Baby, Mama. <laughs> and if you can see, are, them, those are beautiful. Yeah, they have the the roses, the dimensional rose. Yeah, like the the ribbon rose on them. Yep. I'm trying to get. Oh, if you can look up the name, honey. It's yeah. Paris Drapery Panels. Just to try to find the length. I know they are long and they're beautiful. They're brand new um, in here. Um, so it's I probably. Got they're probably 82. That's an old thought, yeah. I would I would think they're 82. Um, and there's I believe two panels in them. Um, and then the other set that I have, these ones are are super heavy. Um, there's actually a price tag, it's from Bye Bye Baby, and they're 200. 11 11. Thank you, Argyle. Um 20399 and this is like it's like a beige color i don't know if you could see that but it's like a really heavy duty beautiful luxury panel um or two panels yeah. um i don't know the on the back where it is yeah it's called um florence drapery panels i'm trying to pull it up right now let me Oh, look at Michelle. She put the squirrel in the middle. Michelle, I love you. You're so awesome. Look at she put the little squirrel in there. Do you see it? Yes. Oh, honey. Oh, uh, no, I can't. It's not me, Ronnie. <clears throat> uh, Donna, take the congrats. Thank you. <laughs> I'm good, Ronnie, but I'm not that good. 
I thought Lori froze for a minute. No, I'm still here. <laughs> okay, there. Um... Thanks, you guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you okay, so, so much. These ones are Glenna Jean Florence 90 inch velvet window panels in like a cream color. Hey, Bob um, Black. So each panel measures, um, let's see. Thank you, Michelle. 40 inches wide. It, they are lined. Um, yeah, the, so even on Amazon right now, um, they're selling for still $206, which is crazy for panels. But um, these ones are super heavy, very Laurie, beautiful. Laurie, do you do you um, sell on eBay? No, not really. No, we we used to sell huge on eBay, but um, honestly, we we prefer not to just because of scammers. Really, yeah, you it know, kind of ruined it for us. We we literally in order to get in touch with PayPal, the length of time we sat on the phone and, you know, all of that stuff has just been ridiculous. Um, I just, I asked that because um, look at Argyle with the socks and the purple hearts. I love that. Oh, I asked that because linens sell really, really well on eBay. Like whenever I had brand new in package linens, yeah, would sell, they, they would sell right away on eBay. Yeah eBay is a great platform for that. They are. These are both um, made in the USA. Um, yeah, I don't know. They could see the roses, but it's. I don't want to take them out of their packaging. No, we can see them. We can see them. But if you could see the picture. Um, so Lori RV Life wants to know: Should I decline the request that you sent for the hundred and ten dollars? Did you receive a separate payment from her? Yeah. So if if yeah, decline, decline, decline yes. that one. Yeah. Okay. All right. And tell me, just confirming that you got her payment. Um. Let me check. Hold on. I was talking to. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I was just about to read Tammy's comment when you blurted it out in front of me. Why aren't you talking, Miss Donna? Oh, that's a better question. Just saying. Jewelry jar coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. 81 people in the chat. Hi, Boston. Hello. Let me check on that payment. Hold on one second, guys. Hurry up, Laurie. I'm trying. <laughs> yes, Tamara, I did receive it. So the only one I'm waiting for is Bobby. You're holding <laughs> stuff up. So it's both sets of panels. Donna just wants story time. You guys, who's in the chat? Whoever's in the chat that's not commenting or saying stuff, say hello. I want to know who's in the chat. You guys brave enough to say hello. Bobby, I didn't see yours. Um, did you make sure you sent it to teambrandori at gmail.com? John, I will. I'll look tomorrow. I will be billing and shipping all day tomorrow. No auctions tomorrow for me. I'll Same be working on shipping everything out tomorrow. I'll be getting all caught up. Will you guys stop it with the hellos? You, you told them, them to. to. You told them to. No, I said whoever is lurking, not, not the, not. Oh. Not participating and lurking in the background. I want to know. There's 80 people in the chat and there's like like 20 people commenting. So no, nope, Bobby, know. it's it's team T E A M Brandori. B R A N D O N I or R I. Team Brandori. So is there anybody that's interested in this? We were gonna start at 25. Brandori, that's awfully cute. <clears throat> yeah, like who was it? Angelina Jolie and yeah. Brent. So Don, are we Arcana? <laughs> Ar uh, what is this? That makes us Argana. Argana? 
Yeah. For what? I don't know. Personally, I like T. Guile better. Just saying. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to have a better ring to it. Yeah, he'll weigh these ones right now because they are like super. Yeah, I, know, I know we did. There's a lot of resellers out there, so I'll give you an idea if you want to ship. Yes, yeah, so just so you guys. Right, so Tina started. Uh, Jill actually started us off at 25. Lori's at 27. Matt is at 30. Lori at 35. Hey, Bill Myers. Oh, 45 now from to Lori. Tiffany, I will get your mystery boxes out tomorrow too. She's got she ordered two mystery boxes. Anybody else want a mystery box? Let me know. $50. Those ones are 6.5 pounds. So they're heavy. You know? yeah. I only, I'll bill you only when I know I'm gonna get it out. <gasps> 365 still hasn't gotten hers. Oh, I gotta get that out tomorrow. The the cream ones weigh 6.5 pounds. These, these ones are super light. They're not that heavy. These are probably two pounds. They're probably two to, well, three, pounds two to three pounds. Yeah. On on the pink about ones. 10 pounds if you're a reseller, about ten pounds. Well. Yeah, just so that you guys know for your own shipping means. Tina, I see you bid for thirty five, honey. But Lori came in ahead of you at thirty five. Tina now at forty seven. Lori at fifty. Is Brandon setting up to do another lot? Yeah. No, no, you go ahead. If you want to go ahead, you can. No, seriously, go ahead, Donna. Sure. No, no, no. I, I wanted you to go ahead. Oh, if you're sure. I mean, She's I can't. Asking you if you can do a back to back. She's trying to set. I can something. do a back to back. Yeah, sure, guys. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. yeah. All right, fifty-five now to Tina. So there's two panels in each package, and there's two sets. Nancy, the mystery boxes are, are, I try to do like anywhere from 125 to $200 worth of just, it's a mishmash. You could get jewelry, you could get vintage, you could get, it's basically just a mishmash of stuff. It's like my choice. I just, just fill them up with all kinds of different stuff. Hi, Joe. Thanks for coming in. Lori's RV life at 60. Yeah, I'm trying to find, I know I found them at one time, um, the name on the Paris ones and showed like the whole nursery together. It was probably the most beautiful set of panels. I've Tina ever comes in at 65, Lori now at 70. Stacy, the one I need to join so I can bid. We can drop the link for you so you can send us an email to register. That's all you need, honey. And then you can just comment in the chat like you just did on your bid. You can make What's your bid. On? Why did Susan say exactly who was bothering Don or June? What's going on? Who's bothering me? Every Somebody wrote, everybody's got to leave Donna alone tomorrow. Oh. Well, that's not very nice. Well, she's trying to say it so you can get your work done. Oh my God, I've been working all day. What if I decide to take tomorrow off and I just lied to everybody and said I was getting all the orders out tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be anything new. Then you would be a very Whoa. smart woman. <laughs> no, I've been known to do that. And people say, good for you because they know how hard I work. No, I'm going to work all day tomorrow. I've got so many orders I've got to ship out. I'll start early and get them out. Shane M. What will we do for nighttime entertainment tomorrow night? Well, maybe, just maybe, Argyle Sock might be releasing a premiere tomorrow night. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe, just maybe. It's going to be an interview. Oh, and no, 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 that's not tomorrow, Miss, Miss Donna. Uh huh. The interview is not tomorrow. I thought you were going to release an interview, you interviewing because she shed. I am, but not tomorrow. Why? It takes a while to get oh all my same reason you're not going to get all your invoices and shipping out tomorrow. <laughs> Carol, you want a mystery box? Thank you, honey. All right. I'm releasing a video tomorrow, though. Yeah. Let's go once to Lori at 70. Yeah, we have a lot on that tomorrow.
I cannot find, I, I know I found this before. <laughs> no, I cannot seem to find it. I wanted to show you now. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Is Ronnie talking to me? <sighs> Ramona wants Alga to go live. I don't know. Does the shoe fit, Miss Donna? <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> Fair warning. Last and final call to Lori for $70. Going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold. Awesome. Awesome. And who bought that one? I'm sorry, I missed it. Lori's RV. Okay, perfect. You're up, Brandon. I'm good to go, Donna. <laughs> what do you say? He says, I'm, I'm good to go, Donna. Okay, good. Nice lot of purses. Yeah, whoop, nothing whoop. extravagant. Just kind of no, a basic, she loves uh, purses. Lot. There is an Ellen Tracy in here. Uh, they're all in good condition. Uh, the white one is a nine West. Yeah, nothing great on that. The uh, the red one is that one got a name on it? Should I come over there? Hold yeah, on. I just Sorry, I got a hold of a chance. I think you should because Brandon's got to learn how to sell. You don't say, "Oh, I'm not so good." <laughs> This is an awesome lot, Brandon. Look at that purse. It's beautiful. This one has a G on it, so it must be a Gucci. Nope, I'm wrong. Oh. <laughs> that one's by street level. Street level. And that one's like just a little flip up, and it's got three different. Perfect, nice bag to take club in or just on a, a nice night out. So can... Put a few Are things in there. there. No, Match your I, I outfit. Okay. You can actually take these off and use it just as a clutch. This is just a little nine west. Same thing, clutch or strap? Um, that one's that one has the strap actually attached. Yes. But you can tuck it in. Um, this one is just a cute little. Would you guys want to start this off at? I'm not attached on a ten bucks. All right. Um, this one here is a Liz Claiborne. And then it has a Liz Claiborne wallet with it. Better than my wallet. Mm -hmm. All right, Susan starts us off at 10. This one here is just a cute little clutch, no? Like a dressy. It's clean. They're all clean. Yeah. I think they all came from the same. This year. one here is just a little clutch. Michelle comes in at fifteen. Susan now at seventeen. This one is. I don't know the name of this one. I can't see because again, I got to hold uh, just so I don't drop this. This one is a uh, MG collection. Yeah, I don't know if that's too great, but the, the structure is nice. Yeah. It's got just a little. Probably change or whatever pocket. That one does have a strap you can take off, or you can just use the shoulder straps. This one isn't the you know perfectly cleanest, but it is a nice big hobo bag. The stitching's halfway decent on it. It's not you know. This one is a uh, Ellen Tracy, and it's like a a little weave. Of course, I got the paper in there. Here. Oh, that strap. And then the Ellen Tracy has. These are all from the same storage unit, right? I assume. Or... Yeah. yeah. I think this was two weeks ago. Yeah. And I think. This one was one of my, I don't know why I like this one, but that I That one's do. super cool. I don't know why I would like super that Super cute for the beach. Yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of nice. Still has the thing there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six with a wallet, um, seven, eight purses and a wallet. All right, and we have Susan at 17. Uh, 
<laughs> Ronnie G. Brandon should carry that bag with him. It fits his personality. Oh, Ronnie G. Gem on the top. I can't hear a word she, Ronnie G said. I, I no idea. <laughs> All right, we're going to go once to Susan at 17. Michelle, Michael, just let me know where you guys stand. All right, Michelle, Michelle says she's out. We'll go twice now to Susan at 17. Michael is out. Fair warning. Last and final call. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Susan for $17. Very nice. Congratulations, Susan. Um, Don, he actually was in yesterday or the day before. He's... um. You know, he's kind of laying low. He's been working. He's been busy. He does drive a tractor. I'm sure he's still delivering for the post office. So he's probably getting a lot of overtime right now, catching up on some sick time he had taken. Wow. Is that a jury jar, Miss Donna? It is. Wow. Very nice. Where is because she shed? What's that? Where is because she shed? <laughs> <laughs> Some big balls in there. Yeah, I see them. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you, Susan. I got your payment. Cajun reseller, <laughs> she's still sleeping, Argyle. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and start the bidding, you guys. Chad, how many songs can you come up with the word balls in it? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Michelle comes in at 25. Brittany now at 30. Oh, Let God. me start you off. Great balls of fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have Dawn at 35. Brittany now at 40. Tammy now at 45. We got Cajun Hunter or Cajun Reseller with Wrecking Ball. <laughs> Siggy now at 47. Yes, Lori, oh, I did receive your second payment. Meatball. Don is out. Tammy's at 50. You would say Meatball. Susan's <laughs> leaving. Good night, Susan. I think Never Ending Saga made that one up. No, there's such a thing. Is we that a real song? We them for Christmas time. Susan, oh. don't leave. Festive don't leave, Susan. Susan, don't leave. And we got Shane with Balls oh to the gosh. Wall. And April with Sticky Balls, another one that's made up. June is still here. Don't leave. And we got Furry Balls from Ronnie G. That's made up. And Cheese Balls. Y'all are just wanting to say the word balls. You can't think of any songs. 
racquetball. Ball, ball, black sheep. I already said that one. There she is. Who's June? Susan, don't leave. We're all just we're having fun. It's late. Everybody's tired. It's okay. No, mm -hmm. no, nobody get upset speak at anybody. Speak for yourself. What do you mean? I'm just saying that, you know. Sweaty balls. <laughs> High balls, ballroom balls. Ben, 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 what are those? Ben, what, Ben, what balls? <laughs> <laughs> What are they called? Benoit balls. Benoit balls. I knew Lori would come in for you. <laughs> Shane, that's not very funny. Not very funny, Shane. You all oh, know how I feel yeah. about this. Yeah. Everybody's been giving me such a hard time with Brady leaving. Okay, now who has the balls to bid on this? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, we have Tammy at 50. <laughs> Looking for 55. Uh, let me check Bobby. Hang on one second. Is Susan here? Fifty five from Cha Cha. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Kentucky's not included, that. Lori. <laughs> What's that? No, Captain. not you, Lori. I'm sorry. Lori's RV life is says I love that container. I buy it just for that. I just want her to know it's never. We never include the jar. <laughs> Kevin wants to know how long I'm going to be spinning the jar for. For as long as it takes. Bobby, I did receive your payment. Thank you. Absolutely. Yep. For as long as it takes. <clears throat> hey, Mama G. Oh, no, no, my mother Hi, Mama G. Registering time, but she's in crystal balls. She comes in at just necklaces in here, Donna. Um, I think so. Yeah. The other night, I guess she had a jewelry lock. Like really cheap. I think it's all necklaces. Okay. All right, sixty now for Michelle Pettis. Thank you, Michelle. Hi, Mama G. Mama Jean has balls. Maybe she'll bid on this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Mama Jean does have balls. <laughs> but Susan has the original balls. 65 now from the Junkin Data Girl. Maricha. Those are because she sheds balls that Susan got. <laughs> <laughs> Snoring. Wow, that's a big snore. Yeah, that is COPD. Want to be yeah. Home. It's a nice. Oh, one. Likes dry balls, crickets, Siggy, yeah. <laughs> Siggy. All right, we're gonna go once for sixty-five to the Junkin Data Girl. Gotcha. All right, we're going to call it. Everybody's done. Whoever was bidding, just type in the word out, please. Let me know where you guys stand. I have Maricha at 65 going once. Michelle, if you're still in or out, just let us know.
Michelle is out. Tammy's out. Going twice now. Fair warning. That's long. Jeez. To cha cha. Last and final call. Going once. Going twice. And we are sold to Maricha for sixty five dollars. Congratulations. Awesome. Lot number 23, jewelry jar, $65. What do you think? You ready or you want me to go again? Are you ready, Brandon? You go again, Donna. You go again, Donna. I like watching your stuff. It's fun. <laughs> he likes taking a break. <laughs> All right, this is a huge book lot. It's probably going to have to go out in two shipments. Books? It's story time? Book lot? Nope, it's not story time yet. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, it's going to have to go out in two lots. I'm either going to have to split it up, or I'll start it at 8 and 8, 10. All right, I'll start it at 30. $30. I'll do it, I'll do it in two lots. Okay, Ballerina Princess, Bambi, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Dora the Explorer, Cheerleader. Thank you, April. The Unicorn Book for Little Girls. Can we read that one, Miss Donna? Hello Kitty. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Uh-oh, Don's not happy. He says, I walk away and miss a jewelry jar. Oh, no. Mm. That'll teach you. <laughs> <laughs> this one has got some stickers used in it, so that's just going to be part of the deal. Disney Frozen. Dino Dance. We're talking it. Then there's a whole bunch of these little Shopkins ones. Are valuable now. Yeah. Hold on a second. This one's not included in the lot. Oh boy, she found a good one to read. Fine. Hold on a second. I can't wait. <laughs> it's it's too it's too it's too wordy. I'm gonna include it. It's too wordy. It's her maids. <laughs> it's scary. Wow. I don't at, get it. At the zoo, you wouldn't. That has something to do with Robin. Lori says, man, that sock has some balls. <laughs> um, questions. The little book of the biggest ever book of questions and answers. The merry-go-round poetry book. The night before Christmas. Kim is asking, are they all books or are any of them activity books? Um, these are all books, but I do have some activity books also. One Time Love, Twinkle Twinkle Little Bug, Baker Baker Cookie Monster. <clears throat> if you give a moose a muffin. Can we read that one? Of Golden Chest. This is actually a really pretty book. I opened this up. It's got all those foil pages. It intrigued me. Uh, the Night Before Christmas. Um, Puss in Boots. Can Brandy. you read that one? <laughs> <laughs> the Lion King. Daniel and the Lion Den. Um, the Fox and the Hound. Clifford. Pokey. Can we read that one? <laughs> it's, got, it's got too many words. <laughs> it has too many words. I'm sorry. Um, little Golden Book, Captain America. Piggy Giggles. Can we read that one? 
All right, let me see. <laughs> nope, too many words. <laughs> um, Merry Christmas from Shimmer and Shine. The Merry Christmas story. This is a big lot. Pop-up books, things that go. Can we read that one? <laughs> <laughs> Um, no. <laughs> Paradise Day, Toy Story, Pokemon, Cookies, Cookie Food, Cookies Food, Bunny in a Basket. Hello. Hello. Tiffany's Cool Finds comes in. Um, Juliana. The foot book. Can we All right. that one? Uh, Tiffany School Find comes in at 30. It's about to get real. Would you like to go 32? No. <laughs> Did you rob a bookmobile? Green <laughs> <laughs> eggs and ham. Summers is at 35. Babies. 37 now from It's About to Get Real. Thank you for me. One fine Shabbat. That's a great book. What am I? Passover. Listen to this. That's a great book. Mickey Silly Day. Yeah, they're all going to fall in. Something. I don't know. Merry Christmas to you, Pooh. Zookeeper Goofy. I see. X marks the spot. Can we read that? Three cheers for us. Mickey's Adventures. And Mickey Mouse Club. That's <laughs> all of them. No, I was just reading the comment there, Donna. What is, where exactly where exactly do the people in your house sleep? You have a just <laughs> department store in there. Where do they sleep? Where, where exactly do people in your house sleep? You have a department store. No kidding. <laughs> you have no idea. And I have a storage unit full and a two-bath garage full. This is an awesome lot. Huge amount of books. I didn't count them. Is April still in the chat? 56 books, you guys. 56 books. Where's the bid at? $45. For 56 books. We'll probably have to come in two lots. All right. We have 43 from Sylvia now. 47 from Sylvia. It's about to get real. Came in at 45. It's about to get real is now at 49. Thanks, you guys. Whoops. Oh gosh. <laughs> 51 now from Summers. Fifty six now from Sylvia. Sixty-one now from it's about to get real. Should we read this one? Cheerleader. No. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, God. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe she's gonna change your mind now. <laughs> you, you might want to think about it. You might want to think about it. I don't know. I mean, just saying. <laughs> Ouch is right, Kathy. <laughs> you might want to think about whether or not you want me to read this one, Argo. <laughs> Joe says only if you act it out. <laughs> wow, good idea. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I like Joe. You can come back anytime. <laughs> One page covers it all. Oh my god, that's so funny. That was the first page I opened. It was that page. It was completely innocent. Right. Hysterical. All right, let's go once now to Kim at 61. Dawn, Dawn, Dawn is story time. Did you, were you here for story time the other night? I wouldn't admit that, Kathy Spencer. Oh, it was, I think it was. Not <laughs> what did you want to Kathy? <laughs> I was a head cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Mark wants to know how much just for the chili it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is it warm in here? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Never ending saga is biting his tongue and sitting on his hands. <laughs> oh my god. So funny. <sighs> <laughs> All right, fair warning. Last and final call to Kim. It's about to get real. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold for $61. Are they getting the cheerleader book? For how much was it? How much? 61. Gets, she gets the cheerleader book. It's her favorite. She, <laughs> she wants it. That's why she bid on the lot. <laughs> so how much was it, Kim? 61. 61, okay. Just clear that page out, Miss Donna. Lori <laughs> <laughs> oh, says, I love you guys. Best channel on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that cheerleader book is an activity book. Kim, did you get the tracking number for Federal Express? Oh, God, Donna. <laughs> Did you? Kim, as soon as I got off live yesterday, I packed that sucker up and ran to Federal Express. T says to me, you better get that package out today. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, I promise I will. Siggy Lamb thinks you'd need to make that cheerleader book your banner. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, Kathy puts three martini glasses in the thing, getting loose now, limbering up for the Chinese splits. <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny. Okay, are you ready, Brandon? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, Brandon's up. I just have to say something. Yes. I have to say that. I absolutely loved that you guys invited me onto your show the other night. And I'm, I absolutely love that you guys are here tonight. And this is the way I think it should be. Like we should all work together. Like there should be, no, there should be no competition. There absolutely. should be no competition. There should be like, I love, love, love that I met you and Brandon. I love right? it. I just want to say thank you for being here. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you're here, you know, and I and I hope that we can do more collabs like this together because this is fun. This is, you know. I agree. We were just saying that the other day, a hundred percent. We're super okay. happy that okay. we finally got to talk with you guys and glad we met you. Glad we met T. Glad we met Sock. <laughs> I don't know about Sock, but <laughs> Okay, so this is part of the same lot where the purses came from. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> Boston concurred. Um, what comes in the little bag? Is it just like a little bracelet? Yeah, it's just like a little gift, basically. It's basically like a pearl bracelet, so to speak. A uh, fake pearl one. Okay. So um, <clears throat> MSRP is $26. There's a lot of four. They are different sizes. This one's a 1X. Again, hence the Bike Aware Plus. They basically model themselves on, on the clothing line aspect, you know, with a 1X or larger. If that makes sense. Yep. Yes. Um, so this is a one X. Thank this you, one Ramona. is a two X. And um, <clears throat> that's a one X. And then this one right here is a three X. All right. You said it was four design. pieces. Four tops, but really nice. Yeah. Four pieces, different sizes. Um, two one X, a two X and a three X. Yeah, correct. <clears throat> Would you want to start this out? 10 bucks. All right. Each one comes with the little free gift bracelet. 
The rest are, are new in the package. Brandon just took that one out for show, so. Are they all the same design? We have a question. Yes. yes. Kathy's asking about the material. Marion starts us off at 10. Um, let me see the tag. Hold on one second. No, it would be on the inside, question. baby. You know, I, yeah, I was going to appear. That's a good question. Uh, Look at the oh, bottom. Like go here. underneath the bottom of the shirt. It's, it might be at the at the bottom inside. Michelle's at 15 on the seam. There you go, right there. 100% cotton. 20 from Marion. Open them up. Yeah, her, if you want to, yeah, because that one's out, that's going out just to show. 22 from Tammy. They are really nice. I mean, it's, it's a, very nice. And I think the 1X is a little underrepresentative because I think... The 1X is probably the size I would wear. Well, what I'm saying is it, they, they I have a... I my chachas and nothing else. They have a good stretchability <laughs> about them, um, so they will obviously... Yes, yes Marie, sure it is. Sense. Yeah. All right, Michelle says she's out. We have June at 24. All right, 25 for Marion. Yes, Kathy, 100% cotton, honey. All right, 26 from Tammy. All right, June and Marion are out. We'll go once to Tammy at 26. Going twice now. Fair warning. Last and final call to Tammy Rea at $26. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> we are sold to Tammy. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to do another lot of books. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a little knock-knock book. They're all little knock-knock jokes. Oh, I think Doc loves that. And yeah. there's another knock-knock book, all different knock -knock jokes. They're called sock sock books in my world. Are we starting at 30 again? Um, you can start this one, start it at 20, see where it goes. And this one is Science Facts. Actually, there's a really great one in here I was going to do as a one-off. All right, I'm just going to throw it in. We'll see where it goes. Pocket Doodles for Boys. And so, so this is the one you were talking about had some activity books in it. Yeah, it has some activity books in it. It's a mix age though. It's for like all different ages. So hooray for school. All right. Michelle's going to start us off at 20. Okay. This one is, um, this is kind of cool. It's, you put it up on the counter and um, it has these flaps. Nice. That um, they can learn how to spell. This is 22 now from It's About to Get Real. Skippy Jones Shape 
up. Connie comes in at 24. A mermaid little blue truck leads the way. It's about to get real at 26. Connie, I'm surprised to see you up, honey. I guess you were off. Dinosaurs ABC. Hi, Connie. Animal hide and seek. Oh, that's a nice big board book. With flaps. Yeah, it's a flat book. It's Night, great. Michael. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, it's it's got textured stuff on it too. Oh wow! Well. Yeah. You should touch it. I am touching it. Thirty-five <laughs> for Michelle. It's soft. Okay, this is the book that I was going to do as a one-off. This is an awesome book. Good um, for you, Connie. Good for you. She took a couple of days off. Good for you. Okay, so this is if it's a book. It's called a fairy tale jigsaw book. And it has all of these jigsaw puzzles. Wow. Isn't that great? That's beautiful. I wow. know. That is gorgeous. I know. I was. I was going to do this as a one off. We'll just throw it in. Oh, Boston's getting a little. And it has a story. I don't know who he's barking at. 40 from Lori, 50 now from Michelle. This is a beautiful book. Is that a squirrel? Did you just pass a squirrel? I don't think so. It's all fairies. No. It looks like it looks like is it? I it think looks like it. Yeah, I think it is. No, it's a mouse. Oh, okay. It's a mouse. See the tail? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It just it was brown and you couldn't really see the fairy too well. So just the it just almost looked like it. Yeah, That's it just so goes, cool. That is so cool. I know it goes on and on. It's a really cool book. And it talks all about fairies. All right. We have Lori's RV Life at 55. It's a beautiful book. Okay. Here is Writing Starters Tear Off. So this is, it's really, it's so cool. It's got like all these like tear off. It's like an activity book. It's got all these like tear off perforated pages like on the side. So that's an activity book. Weekly Writing Lessons. Another Activity book. Michelle now at 60. Ancient Born at 65. Ancient Egypt. Um, these are these are 995, these books. Ancient Middle East. These are good homeschooling books. Or even just for the kids now, get them. Yeah, off. well, now especially, yeah. yeah. And this is um social studies made simple. Look 1095 for that book. Um Michelle at 70. 24 exciting plays plays for ancient history classes wow and a great lot donna thank you especially now yep and then this is a just a coloring book a frozen coloring book and here is a seek and hide fully scented stickers Ooh, let's smell it <laughs> can you smell it it smells it's probably scratch and sniff <laughs> I'm just scratch. can you touch it I smell new book. <laughs> <laughs> Squeaky clean. Let's try this one. I don't know. I smell brand new book. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I don't want to mess it up for someone. If someone's buying it, they can read the instructions. I don't know if you're supposed to put, I don't know if you're supposed to put water on it or something or scratch it. Doesn't say scratch it. So I don't know. Oh, I smell it. Just touch it. <laughs> I smell it. I do. I smell. smell it. I smell it. What does it smell like? It's it, it smells like fruity pebbles. <laughs> oh my god, Matt Jones. <laughs> Maybe you should lick it. It smells like fruity pebbles. <sighs> It's fruity. No. It's fruity no, it you should rub it. No, I'm not going to rub it. I'm not going to rub them because whoever buys it is going to want to rub them. So I'm not going to rub them. I'm not going to ruin it on them. <laughs> and then it won't be like smelly anymore. <laughs> I don't think you should touch it. <laughs> so yeah, so that's it. a whole lot. This is great. It. It's for when you stop. It's for all different ages. All different ages in here. Everything from like preteen 
girls, boys, you get a, just a nice mix of everything in here. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. We have, we have, oh my god. We have Michelle Pettis at 70. Oh no, Lucinda, Playboy Scratch and Sniff. And we have the cheerleader saying, you know you can. <laughs> 75 now from Lori. <laughs> I actually have some Playboy magazines. I do too. <laughs> I scratch and stuff. We'll play scratch and stuff. <laughs> I have to go get them from my freezer. Your freezer? <laughs> Why are oh, you doing scratch and stuff? No. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. All right, Michelle says she's out. We'll go once to Lori at 75. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> now Kathy's doing double flips into splits. <laughs> oh, so the first thing R one J one here is licking and surf it. One, show me yours. <laughs> All right, going twice now to Lori at seventy five. Oh my gosh! Fair warning. It's a great it's it's final really call. call. It's really Jules wants to know what's going on in here. <laughs> Who wants to know? Jules R one J one. Oh, I have a headache from laughing, you guys. I do. <laughs> I literally have a headache from laughing. Fair warning. Last and final call. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold. Congratulations, Lori. <sighs> oh, thank you, Lori. Okay, you ready, Brandon? Yeah. Yep. There you go. Are those the messenger ones? Or so these are messenger bags for those. Yep. Are they the messenger or are those the? These are the messenger iPad, iPad. slash iPad bags. iPad bags, yep. All leather. And then these these are the purses that you saw the on the other auction. And how many purses total? Uh, four of those as well. So eight all together. What do you want to start it? 20 bucks. Okay. Wow, that's a great reseller lot. All right, guys. Genuine leather purses, eight pieces, $20 to start shipped. 22 to Kathy Spencer. Twenty six to Tammy. <laughs> Twenty eight from Summers, thirty from Tiffany, thirty two from Siggy. Lori says I gotta quit buying Christmas gifts. I'm done with my Christmas shopping for the next ten years. <laughs> 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 Thirty-six from Tammy, who wants to come in at thirty-eight. All right, Summers is in at 38. 40 now from Tammy. 50 from Tina. Tina's not playing any games now. Who wants to go 55? 56 from Tammy. 56. Looking for 61 now.
58 now from Tina. Um, yeah, Siggy, we, we know Let's Play. <laughs> Sorry, Don. 66 from Tammy. That's okay. Um, it, I think uh, Mama G took care of it. All right, Tiffany says she's out. We have Tammy at 66. Anyone want to come in at 71? All right, Tina says she's out. All right, let's go once then to Tammy. And going twice now. Fair warning. Last and final call. $66 to Tammy. Going once, going twice. Ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Tammy for $66. Congratulations, Tammy. Great deal. Wonderful nice deal. Really good deal. And Tammy, on that one, if you want to just put a per slot, that way. Yeah, Did you have another lot ready, baby, or you need Donna to go? Donna wouldn't mind going. Yeah, if Donna doesn't mind going. Donna, are you here, honey? I'm here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do a sterling lot. Ooh. Ooh. All sterling. Okay, the first item, and I know you guys are going to ask me the weight, but I will go over and weigh it all together after I show it. The first piece is this, and it's marked right there, 925 on that little round spot. You see it? Right there. So a sterling bracelet. You can start getting whatever you guys want. Lot 25, guys. Lot 25. The next one is this necklace with those stones. I don't know what the stones are. But the the uh, it's marked on the bezel. Nine two five right there, and it's a box chain. And it's marked. Oops, nine two five on the chain. The next piece is this ring. It's got a real pearl in it, and it's marked nine two five. So you get the bracelet, the necklace, this ring, Ronnie G starts it off at 25, ring, you don't get my ring, my 27 from Kathy. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm in Lego hell. Why? Because she has. Did you get your did you get your package? No, you didn't get your package. 30 from Ronnie. She might have gotten mine. 40 from Autumn. Oh, because she has um, you got Legos too? I sent her Legos too. Yeah. Oh, okay.
40 from autumn. Forty two from Ronnie. And I will include this one too. This is all sterling. Everything you see here. The pendant, the pearl ring, this one, which looks like it has aquamarine in it. This one here, where is it? This one, aquamarine. And then this one looks like it may have like a amethyst or some sort of light purple stone. All good. right, Ronnie G's at 50 now. <clears throat> this is really heavy. It's very thick. All right, 55 now from Jill. Ronnie says, out, damn it. Hey, Brandon, flip it and list it. Wow, I'm late. Your stream wasn't in my subscriptions. Yeah, it's happened a lot, Brandon. Okay, so just to recap, you get three sterling silver rings a pearl, a blue stone, and a purple stone, all 925. The bracelet, marked 925. And the necklace with the chain, marked 925. Oh, she got 20 pounds from Paul. All right, anybody else want to come in? Looks like tourmaline. Four pieces. Four. One, no. Five. One, two, three, four, five pieces. Five pieces of sterling. All right. We've got Jill at 55. Awesome deal, Jill. You deserve it, honey. Ronnie is out. Kathy is out. Miss Martha, just let us know where you stand. Yeah, you know what? I'm trying to buy a few little pieces of jewelry display stuff here and there. Thank you, Carol Ann. All right, let's go once to Jill at 55. Thank you, Jill. Awesome deal, sweetheart. Hmm? And this is lot number 26. All right. Martha says she's out. All right. Going twice now to Jill. They are warning. Last and final call. Jill find your seller. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Jill for $55. Congrats, Jill. Congratulations, Jill. That Jill, that was an awesome deal. Silver, lot 20. What did I say? 26? Yeah. Lot 26. Okay. Brandon, ready? It's actually going to be me. Ooh, Donna style. Going to do it Donna style. <laughs> do it Donna style. <laughs> Woohoo. Okay. So it's just a two piece lot. But the first one is a five-minute princess stories book. And it's like one of the soft kind of puffy covers. It's 
almost like practically brand new. I, I don't think it's ever been even like opened far. So there's the first piece, just the book. And then um, the next piece is rather big. So we're gonna <laughs> try to do it this way, but it's the whole set of the Disney princesses. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, wow. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I wish I knew a little girl I would buy that. That is so cool. Yeah, it's Where do you want to start this at, Lori? Um, we'll start it at 20. All right. How do your granddaughters not want that? They're too little. They're they're not allowed to play with these yet. All my grandbabies are um, my boy is the oldest. So it's gonna be like another um I don't know, probably at least year and a half, maybe two, before they really start playing with Barbies. All right, Bobby comes in at 20, Lori's in at 25. Does it say Disney on the box? Yeah, this was, um, okay, so. 30 from Summers. I'll show the back. It's the uh, Ultimate Disney Princess Collection. Yeah, Joyce said she gave it to her granddaughter a couple of years ago. 35 from Lori. Wow. Uh, Carmen, sorry. Um, 40 see, from Connie. I so it has Mulan, it has Belle, Sleeping Beauty, Tiana, Cinderella, Snow White, and Ariel. 45 from Carmen. Was made exclusively for Target. And um, even now on Amazon, I believe it's going for like $160. Wow. 50 from Lori. Maybe it was like 180. I don't remember. There's there's two different sets. So there's one set on Amazon that goes for much cheaper. Um, this is the ultimate collection with them dressed as their fairies, not in like casual fairy dresses. So this is the ultimate set. All right. Lori comes in at 60. Carmen at 65. Lori now at 70. Carmen's got a typo. I'm assuming that's 75, but Carmen, check that out. That's awesome. What a great gift that is. Holy cow. That's beautiful. Yeah, and their faces are gorgeous. Just so you guys know, I'm showing pantyhose next. <laughs> You're what? I'm showing pantyhose. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's like, oh my God, that is so beautiful. Me too, Ronnie. 75 now to Carmen, 80 to Lori. Wow, it's gorgeous. These are, they're super hard to find too, because um, from what I read, Target only had a select few. And then it does have like a handle at the top to carry it. Oh my gosh. And then these, on the back of the box, they're all like little cutouts. You can actually cut them out and have like little um, paper dolls, I guess. I wouldn't let the kids open that. I know. Carmen's at 85 and Lori's out. Let's go once to Carmen. Going twice now to Carmen. Fair warning. Last and final call for $85 to Carmen. Going once. Going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Carmen for $85. Congratulations. This has been like my, it's literally sat in like, my dining area so i've been like staring at it every day and i'm like i love this box <laughs> yeah it's awesome it's wicked awesome wicked wicked awesome okay let's see okay <clears throat> t you want to show something no i'm good you sure yeah yeah are you tired no i'm fine are you sure okay all right, everybody. So here is, um, it's a pantyhose lot. And we'll start it off at uh, $20 shipped. 
and it's a reseller lot. So you've got one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> Eight. Yeah. Nine. What do you start this at? Twenty. All right. All right. Close your eyes, Argyle. Close your eyes. Oh, here it comes. Ooh. Ooh look at that one. <laughs> Is that Kathy? <laughs> it's Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, go to get oh my god. Donna. <laughs> Kathy says yes. You're killing me. <laughs> They're just pantyhose, you guys. For you. Oh my god, it's pantyhose. <laughs> It's porn to Argyle. <laughs> Just a pantyhose lot. Oh my god! Right? I think these are just round the clock ones. Yeah. <laughs> and she, yeah, yeah. Okay, here you go. Oh, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Okay, now brace yourself. Brace yourself. Just relax. Take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath. Hi. Wow. Yeah. Hi, shoes. All right. Now, look. I'm saving the best for last. There's two left. Okay. Now just relax. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> now that's a hole. <laughs> Do it again. Up close. Yeah. Move it forward. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's what the, they're pantyhose. Yeah. That's a pantyhose. I'm going to be going in the pole wash tonight. <laughs> Turning into I'm an R start calling you Madam Donatella. It's turning into an R-rated channel because I'm selling pantyhose <laughs> to people to buy. Oh, right, this Madam Donatella. This is the last one. Yeah. Yeah. That's show, it. That. show the one before that. That's all of them. What was the last one? Can you show the last one? Oh wait, wait. Hold on. No, I want to see the last I one. I have something for R1, J1. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> this is coming up next. All right. A little late for that this time. I keep those handy just in case. Well, you're late. She already peed herself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it warm in here? <laughs> Why? You like the socks too? I mean, they're pretty. Yeah. I mean, I mean, this is this is wow. <laughs> I mean, this is beautiful. It's a yeah. beautiful leg. That's the starting bid, Nancy. Is at twenty. <laughs> Where's the Hooker Sisters, anyways? I think it's just here. Start? Where's the Connie? Where are you? Where's Where's Pat? I need the yeah, hook where my hookers at? Pat. <laughs> That's perfect. You don't have to leave the auction. Oh, well, that's convenient. Honest to goodness. Okay. Does anybody want to bid on this lot, or should we just? Bring I do. It night. It might be worth for me to just bring it back another night. One million dollars. <laughs> One million dollars. <laughs> Tina's at 20. Oh, 
Oh, oh, there's one of the hooker sisters. <laughs> Why are you ignoring my bids? Because <laughs> you don't have any money. Go away, sock. Some people keep money in their sock. <laughs> yeah, I could be a stuffed yeah. sock. 24 to Tina. Honest to goodness, though, I mean... Will you ever look at another package of pantyhose the same no, way? No, never. Hi. <laughs> For real. Like, I never, ever knew that, you know, they had these, like. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like, look. That's why. What was Boston barking at? I don't know. One of the kids must have come in. I have no idea. <laughs> what? Bobby says I was the model for those. Who said? Who said? Oh, Bobby was the model. Cool. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting more for the picture than the hose. All right, we've got Tina at twenty-four dollars for this lot. All right, any other interests? We're at twenty-four. Let me know if you're in or out. I'm gonna get a reputation around YouTube. I just know it. Madam Donatella. <laughs> oh God. Matt saying husband came down to tell you to keep it down. <laughs> yeah, DJ's husband came down tell you to keep it down. No, he didn't. He actually was wondering what Boston was barking at. He'd never tell her to keep it down. No, he doesn't. All right, we're going to go once to Tina at 24. <laughs> Joe's like, you're in trouble. My husband. The talking at me. And she knows how to use them. She's got legs. Okay. Going twice. Oh, God. Fair warning. Last and final. Wow. <laughs> Why would you pick that one, Miss Donna? <laughs> it was just the handy one. Yeah. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Tina for $24. Congratulations, Tina. All right. $24 to Tina. DB. 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 Okay. That was number 27. I'm getting dizzy. Hose. For the hose. <laughs> Where my hose at? You know you you know you're getting slap happy when uh pantyhose make you laugh. Okay, ready? Are you ready, Brandon? Yeah, I'm good. All right, you're up. You got any pantyhose? Okay, so, so this next lot is um a reseller lot, basically. Um, it was from the same guy with the purses. Um, sock, shut up. Um, so these, it's a lot of how many? Twelve T-shirts. They're all size large. large. Not all large. All size large. They're V-neck, uh, hundred percent cotton. Yeah. Yes. From the same um, lot as the leather bags. Um, same trade. Huh? Same trademark. Yeah, same trademark. What do you want to start at? Uh, $15. $15. And how many pieces did you guys say? 12. 12 pieces? Yep. And they're all shirts. They're all, yep. A V neck, short sleeve. Or baby doll sleeve, I should say, right? Yeah. yeah. Surprise, Argyle. Didn't say anything. All right, guys. We're starting this off at 15 shipped. 12 pieces. Tell me to shut All the same size, Brandon? I did tell you to shut up, Sock. Uh, large. Uh, 12 large. Uh, 12 of them. 12 large. 
Easy list. Really easy list. Kathy comes in at 15. Yeah, and I'm not sure. Um, yeah, hot rides after seeing pantyhose. I know. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, nothing wants <laughs> in on that hot ride. <laughs> Hey, does anybody in the chat want to take a little intermission after this and go get something to eat or drink or go to the bathroom? Yeah, I need to cool down, Miss Donna. Donna's hungry. <laughs> Let me know in the chat if you want to take a little intermission. I mean, I'll put everybody, nobody, you know, everybody doesn't have to leave. I mean, I'll just, yeah, potty break. Bob Black said no. <laughs> fabric on the shirt. What's the fabric on it, honey? Oh, uh, it's 100% cotton. You see that right there? Fun. And it is pretty shrunk as well. Yeah, they are pre shrunk, 100% cotton. Well, Bob, not everybody carries their computer or their phone to the bathroom when they have to go to the bathroom <laughs> like you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bob, Bob, Black Sheep. <laughs> Good night, Connie. Thanks Good night, for Connie. Honey. Thank you, honey. Thank you for being here. 20, let's see, what we started with Tina at 17, Kathy at 19, Tammy at 20. Yeah, we do have other sayings. I didn't know if anybody would. Um, so just take a sock and bring them out. Yeah. 22 from Tina. Really, guys, you're questioning? <laughs> you're really questioning? <laughs> Honestly, um, I, I didn't want to hurt. Donna's channel. <laughs> Some of the ones are not like you probably couldn't um, show the whole sentence. All right, so what we could do the, is we could put the shirt up on the sink, right maybe just really flash it one time. What's that? I said maybe we can like fold the bottom of the shirt up. Like, is it where the hot ride is? No, 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 not on these ones. Not on these ones. There's other shirts that we have. So for the next auction, if they're interested um, okay. in like bulk shirts, I have others that say other things like if you're gonna ride my ASS, at least pull my hair. Okay. Right. So I don't know if anybody's interested in shirts like those. These are these just say hot ride on them and that's it. But the other ones that I have that I have like multiple different sayings. Um, I'm trying to remember what the other ones were. Yeah, the majority of these were sold in like Harley Davidson stores, stuff like that. Yeah. From the branding uh, locally around here in Vegas. Yeah. Do you have one that says mustache but, uh, instead of hot? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what i say yeah we'll try them um like the you next have some interest in them for sure lots of people saying bring them on bring them out i'm interested well, so why, why yeah you know what it, what, it, what it was t is um they did really well in the harley stores and then um but, you know just trying to keep a pc i didn't really you know with talk on, I thought, you know, this could go either way. And <laughs> what do they what do they say on them that you're afraid you're gonna hurt my channel? Well, I, I was just um we didn't bring very PC. Yeah, we were not gonna even put them on our channel because we were concerned, so we were gonna just let people know that we have an abundance of you know, multiple sizes. Um, multiple sayings. There's one that says, if you're going to ride my ASS, at least pull my hair. And they're all I mean, well, people are putting bowl books on auctions for you on my Facebook page. And I encourage people to list bulk items on there. So if you guys want to put them on my auctions for you page and you don't want to bring them to your auction, put them up there. Okay. All right. Yeah, we have lots. We have so many of them. Yeah, and again, I mean, to re to repeat, these were sold in Harley stores for about three or four years. It was a big yeah. brand; it really was. But it was you know, obviously it was um, it, it was uh, it was something locally in Vegas and Arizona and Utah. Uh, are they Harley Davidson shirts? No, the brand the branding was uh, sent over to Harley uh, back in two thousand and thirteen. Um, Harley kind of adopted the uh, as one of their sub um, sub brands. I guess they they became really big. Uh, I, we don't know what happened to the guy. We really don't. He just kind of disappeared off the case. There, even, even Harley doesn't know. He just he just disappeared. And as far as the shirts are concerned, we have um, tank tops, long sleeves, sweaters, sweatshirts, yeah. um, regular t-shirts, um, other colors. 
Um, and they, they all have that same saying on them? No, that's what they're no. saying. They're, they're, no. they're raunchier. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It, they're bikers, you know? They're fun people. <laughs> they're like us. Yeah. It's about to get real, says um, they sell shirts like that on eBay. So that's yeah, pretty awesome. Laura yeah, says it can't get any worse than the pantyhose saga. <laughs> just show them. Just say oh. the rest. The rest we have right now at our um, warehouse. So we were going to go pick some up tomorrow. And then, um, you know, what I'll do is I can. Um, I don't know if anybody wants to email at me, if you're interested, we can make a deal for like larger because we have literally bins full of these shirts and they're all brand spanking new oh that's weird how come that switched over to there i don't, I don't know. know did we lose brandon's oh, camera we lost brandon that's why that's what happened we didn't boot you off <laughs> it just booted him off that's weird i don't know you'll have to connect again yeah so i can um we'll stop tomorrow on the way to hopefully find our eggs that we need. And if we, um, we'll grab a whole bunch of those ones, but we have literally hundreds. Thousands. All right, we have Tammy at 24. Or if you want to show up there, oh yeah, I'll show you the size. Um, the arms are really nice the way they designed them. Yeah, they're like the baby doll arms. So they're like the short little things instead of yeah. like. And they're all brand new. 26 now from Tina. Super soft fabric. Is it is it a stamp or is it embroidered? It's um it's like a um, I guess it'd be more transfer style. Like a tran transfer style, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Like a hot pressed. Yeah. Yeah. I think the graphics are really nice look what they are. Matthew Jones. We're good. We're good. 28 from Tammy. Um Kim wants your email. Put your email in the in the chat That's again. It. You missed it, Lori. What Sorry, sock. <laughs> yeah, you know, Donna, when I bought that, I didn't know what I was, I was getting myself into. Um, it's all a lot of neat stuff. Um, yeah, and I figured in Florida they would sell really good because right. you guys are pretty warm all the time. Right. Um, you know, and, and we have tank tops, T-shirts. Um, you know, hoodies. So uh, I was thinking like New Hampshire, Laconia, you know, right. um, I, where you can ride gorgeous. a bike more times. You know, California, they'd sell good. Yeah. Um, you know, unfortunately other places where it's cold most of the time and they only right. ride bikes in the summer, they don't sell as quickly, so. Exactly. All right, we have 30 now from Tina. <clears throat> back or... Oh, yeah, yeah. Here. Some back and forth. Yeah, I mean, you guys are more than welcome to post them on auctions for you, put a bunch in a lot. The only thing is you'll have to come up with a price because it's not like we can have an auction on there. Right. But you can, you know, if you wanted to put a bunch of them, figure out, you know, what you wanted to get for them. Okay, sounds good. I'll put my just my just use the same email there as, as for my um PayPal. All right, Tina's at 30. We're gonna go once to Tina. So anybody, you know, you can email me too, and that way when I go tomorrow, I'll take some pictures of the different sayings. I have spaghetti strap tanks, I have regular tanks, I have bedazzled, bedazzled tanks, I have I have a little bit of everything. There's Why don't you put them in your group? You've got 50,000 people in your group and offer them up for sale in your group. I like your group, Donna. Well, to be honest with you, our group really isn't resellers. They're looking for like military stuff. They're looking for... It, it's weird, Donna. Like, it's a different, there's there's it's a, a whole different, different um, grouping. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like your group is great because they're all resellers and ours right. are looking for the one-off things, you know? They want that special thing they've never seen before, you know. I mean, honestly, I prefer the type of stuff you sell. I've just I've done that my whole life. The stuff I come across now that they want, it's not that I don't know it. It's just it throws me for a bit of a loop because I'm just not used to that. I'm used to doing the same stuff you're doing. I used to sell lots of cosmetic or um, costume jewelry. I did. I dealt with Monet. I dealt with it all. They don't want that stuff. You know, it's kind of weird. Um, which yeah. I, I oh yeah, I'm sorry. Twelve. Well, well, they're really more collectors, you would yeah. say. So, yeah, yeah, and they're great people. They 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 do us very well. But it's just, it just you know, it's like they say, certain venues do do certain ways. I mean, I'm used to selling down at places, you know, back east of Connecticut, where out here, that stuff would never sell. It would never. Right. So, you know, but my. Right, yeah, that's that's thirty-two now. 
Yeah, but they're super cool. I'm going to keep one of each because I like them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, this lot, though, I'm this not. This lot is all the same. This lot is all the same. Exactly what you saw is this 12 of them. All right. right. 12 of the same. Same, same t shirt. All brand new. All size large. Yep. Foam once now to Kathy Spencer at 32. So now, Larry, since since uh, you're are you on you tomorrow night you're going to be on complete lockdown after tomorrow night is that what what it is I believe so yeah we have until six tomorrow to do what we need to do I um I just talked there's a sign at the gas station I just talked to the guy down at the gas station oh you did there's a sign down there that basically instructs everybody that uh, come six p.m. the alcohol ban is supposed to go into effect there's a sign at the door six tomorrow six p.m. tomorrow yeah. I don't understand the alcohol band. Nobody does. Because it's if it's M law, I'm not going to say the word because whatever. Yeah. If it's M law, they have the right to ban anything they want to ban, basically. Yeah. So. Oh, my gosh. So 6 p.m., they pretty much, they, they're encouraging people to stock up as much as you can. And there was plenty available there. What about cigarettes? Are they going to stop cigarettes? No, not that we not know yet. yet. Not, not that we know of yet. No, not that we know of yet. But, um. They, they had plenty of alcohol there. There was plenty there. And there wasn't really anybody rushing out to get it. So I don't think anybody really knows about it unless you keep you know, paying attention to the news. Yeah, Bob says to make people more insane. That's why they're yeah. doing it. They don't want Yeah, to, exactly. Because they don't want drunks causing trouble. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, right. we, we don't cause trouble. We just no. get home and we enjoy <laughs> and, 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 and talk till four in the morning to socks. What the hell? You guys are yourselves a drunk. If they take the booze away from the drunks, the drunks are going to go crazy. Absolutely, Donna. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. They're going to go crazy. They're going to be breaking into stores. They're going to to get their fix. Right, Ronnie. See, we're very easy. We just fall asleep. Joy, right, Marshall. But you know what? On a serious note, though, um, I really never realized because we weren't we were really never big gamblers, and I have friends that do it on a daily basis. I really never realized how impactful it was. I actually have friends call me crying right now. Because they haven't been able to gamble in six days. No, wow. literally crying as if they're going through uh, withdrawals. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. I know. It's a disease. Is your state lottery? No, I mean, Donna, like, I mean, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't believe me if I told you they're literally crying as if they're on their knees. Like, they, right. they you know, like they're withdrawing. Is, is like, your state lottery shut down? Everything. Yeah. Oh, everything. we don't have lottery. Yeah. Yeah, Although everything. Vegas doesn't do it like a, you don't participate in like Powerball or Quick Draw or any of that stuff. No, no scratch really? tickets. No scratch really? tickets. No Powerball. Yeah. yeah. That's so weird for, for it being Nevada where yeah. you can go to gamble. <laughs> it's probably because of, you know, the sports betting and whatever. And right. we have all of that yeah. available to us. Do you have online available? I know like if you live in New Jersey now, you can legally gamble online. Yes. Uh, we can't gamble online. You can do sports betting. The problem is, is what we do is, you can do sports betting and stuff yeah. online, but unfortunately, there's nothing. All, right. Right. So, yeah. 34. Yeah. all right, we have Tamara coming in at 34. Yeah, for everybody that um, sent a message, just email me at that email. When I go tomorrow, I'll take some pictures of it. I'll tell you how many I have total. Like I said, I have hundreds, hundreds. I I probably have there's thousands at least. Um each tub holds 40 it. tubs full of yeah. brand new folded clothing, all different yeah. all different sayings, all different everything. Wow. Yeah, you have the tags on everything. All right, good night, John Jones. All right, let's go once to Tammy at 34. Good night, John Jones. Good night, John Jones. Good night, John Jones. Michelle says I forgot what we're bidding on. <laughs> the hot ride shirts. The hot ride shirts, 12 of them, size large. All right, let's go twice now to Tamara. Oh. Fair warning, last and final call at $34, going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold for $34. Congratulations. Very sold, sold. I think you'll love them. I think very easy resell. What was the verdict? Are we taking an intermission? Yeah, let's yeah I thought so. Yeah, let's take it. There's 80 people in the chat. I mean, let's all let's just all go take a five minute intermission. Go to the bathroom, get the ladies' room quick. Yeah, go go get a drink tea. Probably April. That's what he went to the store for. I got my drink. He went to the store. You lived that close to the store? The gas station. There's a story closer now. They just yeah. 
Yeah, because it's got to be getting close to them shutting, or they did already. Yeah, they'll shut down at, at 10 o'clock tonight, and they'll reopen. Our, liquor, our convenience stores, they used to stay open until midnight, but now they're shutting down around, like, 10. Yeah, the our, hours. our gas stations stay open 24 hours. But All right, they, all right, everybody take an intermission. All right. <laughs> okay.
How you guys? Nobody's back yet. I am. You are? I am, I am. Enjoy. I got a snack. Did you? Yeah. I got a cocktail. I got a cocktail. Good for you. Oh, shocker. <laughs> <laughs> I said double shocker. <laughs> double shocker. <laughs> There's no shockers here. April got chocolate and cinnamon bears. Oh. I guess Susan never came back, huh? Kathy got big red and Hershey bars. Wow. Oh, Ohio is now shelter in place. Yeah, I knew they were going to, yeah. I thought they already were yesterday, but I thought they had been. Yeah. I wish they would be forever. What'd she say? What'd she say? She wished they would be forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez>. oh. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because I see I still see a lot of the uh, a lot of YouTubers out in Ohio still doing videos. I thought I yeah. I kind of thought they were yesterday, though. Were you guys in New York? You're not on lockdown yet, right? No, we are. As of 8 p.m. Oh, tonight. As of 8 p.m. tonight, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. All right. Okay. You're more so a shelter and stay, though, right? Uh, basically. Yeah, I mean, we can go out tomorrow for essentials. Yeah. And it's kind of what we've been doing, honestly, Brandon. I mean, yeah. we if we had if don't have to go to the post office or we don't have to, you know, go to the grocery store, we have we don't leave the house. That's you gonna know, have we've been, been, um, to that. Yeah, I that we've been we've been doing the same thing. We just kind of, uh, you know, geez, you don't. Yeah, I don't know. I told her this the other day, and I, I, I again, this is not a, meant to undermine anything going on. But you got one guy that says he went through it and he had a couple of mild symptoms. Another guy gets he he's on his deathbed. Another guy gets he said it felt like a cold. You just don't know, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I, I I don't know. I really don't. Um, I don't, I don't want to be sick of it. I don't want any part of it. <laughs> yeah, I just don't get it. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. So we're you know. We're, what we do is every morning we, we, we wake up, we look at the numbers, see what they drop down or if they've gone up or whatever, kind of gauge that by everything. Right. So I know yeah, you guys get hit hard. Still, I think we're probably still on the uptick for another week. I thought the same thing. Yeah, I said next four or five days at the very least. Yeah. yeah. And I know New York's just been getting hard, but Cuomo kind of said it best. He said, uh, you got to remember, we're doing more we're doing more tests. You're going to get more positive results. It's Absolutely. So it's just how anything is in life. So I'm hoping you guys kind of, you know, you start seeing that decline, and then I think the whole rest of the nation will too. Yeah. In California as well. Well, yeah, Washington State now is on the decline. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I'm they not... were the first big pocket of – they were the first big pocket yeah. in Kirkland, right, that got exactly. it. That's where it all started from, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. So, okay. you know, we'll see. And then we were the next big pocket actually in, in Westchester. That's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And that's what I'm glad yeah, to hopefully hear. They start seeing yeah. that go in the other direction, you know. Right. That's well, what we're going to see. If everybody just takes heed warning for the next week. I agree. I agree. We're all good. Yep. That's kind of what we've been saying. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I'm going to show something. All right. All right. So knitting needles. So you know what's coming up with that. Um, here's a number five and a number eight. Whoops. Upside down, and they're in the sleeves. Number what, 27, 28. 28. Okay, and then there's and what do you want to start this off at? Start at 25, okay. and then there's all of these knitting needles. 
and the numbers are seven story in Italy. Seven and six and seven, six again, six and eight on those. All right, Ronnie G starts us off. How many sets, Jules is asking? So the ones in the package are, so there's two sets there. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sets of knitting needles. Seven sets of knitting needles. And with the knitting needles, you get all this yarn. This is called Debbie Bliss Rialto Chunky. So there's one and two and three cash merino they're really nice really soft cash merino it's like a cashmere mix it sounds like yep four so you get two in this color um good night dawn have a good night honey five no ronnie <laughs> six and seven and eight and nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, eleven. So you get 11 scans of yarn. I don't know how I fit all of these in this box the first time. It doesn't look like they're going to fit this time. I'll have to squish them. All right, we have Ronnie G at 25. Anyone want to come in at 27? It's about to get real now at 27. 29 from Ronnie. And all those knitting needles. Yarn and needles. Thirty-one now from it's about to get real. Um, was it seven pairs of knitting needles? I think, and then I'm gonna do this box with it too. So that's so that's eleven. That's Thank you, Jules Mia. Yes, yeah, seven pairs of knitting needles. Twelve. That's thirteen. Fourteen. Thirty-three now to Ronnie. 16, 17. Did we miss a number? 18. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. And twenty-two. So twenty-two. Oh, so baby. Hey, look at how pretty these two are together. I'm sorry. I have to read Betty Webb's comment. Day 10 of social distancing. Struck up a conversation with a spider today. Seems nice. He's a web designer. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Jokes are my job. All right. We have Ronnie G at 33. I think that's 17 scans, right? 17 scans of yarn and seven knitting needles. 
Hey, Valerie. Hi, Val. And Ronnie's at 33. Thirty-five now from it's about to get real. Lot number twenty-eight, yarn and needles. Ronnie says she's out. We'll go once to Kim at thirty-five. Going twice now. Fair warning. Last and final call. We've got Kim. It's about to get real at 35. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold. Congratulations, Kim. Congratulations for how much? 35. $35. Thank you. Brandon is not on the screen. I'm I'm ready for one. You're ready? Yes. Okay, so I don't know. Um, does anybody like CDs? Yes, they do. Okay. I have a really, really awesome set here. So the first ones, um, first ones I have. What do you want to start this out at, Lori? What's that? What do you want to start it out at? Um, five bucks. All right. Um, so I have a uh, two set of, and these all will be together. Um, so this is Am Gold, 1971 and 1972. Those are right. awesome. Yeah, they oh, are. But there's wait, like, there's more. If you buy those now. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, there's more. But wait, um, there's more. So I got, uh, these ones have like America, um, Three Dog Night, Johnny Nash, Al Green, um, just a whole bunch of Jackson Five, Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, all of those. Then I have two from the Sounds of the Eighties. I have nineteen eighty nine and nineteen eighty five. As like Tears for Fears, Mister Mister, Aretha Franklin, um, Debbie Gibson, Sheriff, all of those. All right, Lori started us off at five. Ronnie G came in at ten. Lori's now at fifteen. Then I have this whole set. It's called the Ultimate Seventies. And it's 1970 to 1979. Oh, so each CD is a year. Nice. Yep. Each CD is a year. Man, I kind of want these. Yeah, me too. Super cool. Um, 20 from Ronnie. So that's like, um, looks like there's about like now from Lori. 18 to 20 songs on each one. Um, Paul Simon, Bee Gees, Peter Frampton, Foreigner, um, Linda Ronstadt, Joe Cocker, Bad Company. Where do you show my CD collection? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steely Dan, that's like Brandon's favorite. <laughs> 30 uh, now from Amy Jo. Leonard Skinner. It's a great collection. It's an it's awesome it. collection. It's um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14 total. Um, so 10 of All right, the and we have Amy Joe with 30. And four, two of the 80s, and then two, um, AM Gold, 72, and 1971. They're super cool. 35 now from Lori. There's, like I said, about 18 to 20 songs on each of these. Well, now, Lori, those are the hits of that year, right? That, that the, yeah, the top hits of each year. Yeah. So All right, Tina now comes in at 40. Being the disco and that sort of thing. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Lori now at 45. There is one for Sock. It's called Do You Think I'm Sexy? Oh, jeez. Mm. If you want my body and you think I'm sexy, come on to the <laughs> <laughs> Definitely was the best music. It's awesome. Um, let's see what else do we got on here. So many. 
And like, honestly, these are like mint inside. It looks like they bought the whole collection and just stored them yep. and never used them. All right, we have 47 now from Tina and it's 111, hello Denali. Hello Denali. Argyle Sack, we love you. Love you too, Miss T. Fifty now to Lori. Uh, so the ones on seventy-two, the AM Gold, those are pretty. These ones are really, really awesome. They have um, She's a Lady, Tom Jones, Knock Three Times, Dragon the Line, Sunshine, um, Brand New Key Signs. It's all right, Pepper. It's all right. Um, never Can Say Goodbye, Just Imagine, Running Away With Me, Mr. Bojangles, Juan Ads. These ones have 22 songs on them. Um, old Fashioned Love Song, um, Night They Drove Old Dixie Down. Spanish Harlem, Baby, I Want You, If I Were Your Woman, Have You Seen Her, Horse With No Name, Everybody Plays a Fool. I mean, there's just so many good songs on here. Nights in White Satin. And like, that's the thing, like a little bit of everything. All right, we have Lori at 50. Anyone want to go 55? Yes, Kathy. Every disc from 70 to 79. Mm -hmm. Besides, Ooh. there are four additional CDs. Tina's at 55. Christine, I love the white hearts. They're so pretty. 60 now to Lori. Oh, this one. Oh my gosh, remember those? Oh my gosh, June. <laughs> All right, let's go once to Lori at 60. What are the question marks mean? I didn't see any question marks. To be question marks. Usually if it's a question mark, somebody has a question. She might be watching it on her phone and maybe not seeing the hearts. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah, they might look different, um, Joy. They're hearts, honey. Oh, it means that you may not have that emoji. All right, going twice now. <laughs> Argyle. are, Guile. Fair warning, last and final call to Lori's RV life for $60. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Lori for $60. Congratulations, Lori. Congratulations. Lori, it might just be worth a trip for you to just drive down to Vegas in the RV. Right? <laughs> okay, Pepper. <laughs> What's Pepper nervous about? Because Brandon came out from the laundry room. And he doesn't recognize him? <laughs> oh, no, I think it's everything going on. He, he barks. Literally, when we come in the door, he does not stop barking for a good, like, five minutes. Like, he's staring right at you, and he's still barking. I'm like... Uh, he's old, too, though. He's super old. He's Maybe he's going. not seeing well these days. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think yeah. his eyesight's going. Yeah. Uh, Tamara, let me check. Hold on one second. Yeah, you know what it is, Don. It's, it seems like <laughs> the dogs or animals sense everything going on. I think if that makes oh, yeah. sense. And I and T, yeah, I mean, I think they sense it. And he's been very overly uh, jittery the last couple of days. And yeah, super jittery the, the last the other day, few days. I think, and he's just kind of been really on. 
you know, jittery and his eyesight's not great. And, you know, I think he's just very defensive because he doesn't really have the same demeanor he had five years ago, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. But. Yes, I did, Tamara. Okay. I'm up. All right. You're up. I'm up. Do you have books? Ready? Do you have books? Do you have books? <laughs> oh. Yes, done, huh? Are you really going to sell my family? <laughs> wow, Uncle Perry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, jeez. Never really cared for that relative. I don't mind that one. Well, those are the Brooks brothers. They've been mean to you, Argyle. Yeah. I don't care about them. <laughs> yeah, they think they're smart. This could be my last lot of socks for a really long time. This is it. I don't know if I'm going to get yeah. any more. I'm afraid <coughs> maybe it. All right, Michelle's took the bait. Twenty-five dollars to Michelle. No, oh, Michelle, really? <laughs> oh, she's forty. Sock trafficking. Sock trafficking. <laughs> No. Right. 27 from Kathy. This, I really don't know what these are. It says hand warmers. Yeah, they just go around and they stop at your fingers. So that way you can, you literally like just keep them there. So it, it keeps just the tip of your fingers open. Oh, interesting. Okay, so there's one, two. I'm okay with those. <laughs> Three. All right, June's at 30. <laughs> Betty. Betty's on a roll tonight. He's on a roll tonight. <laughs> Does anybody want to meet up for lunch tomorrow? We could order drive through through the drive through and pull up next to each other just like the cops do. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about leg warmers? I'm okay with them. You don't care about them? Yeah. And these are, I think these are those hand things too. Urban Express, they're called. They've got they've got mink on them, little mink balls. <laughs> wow. These are tights. Oh, no. These are Joseph Bank. Yeah. These, I don't know if the packaging is in there, but these are the gold toe, gold toe ones. No Argyles, Miss Donna? What? No Argyles? Um, I'm looking. I don't know. These are multi-sport. I'm going to lose my shit if you have Argyles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe those gold-toned ones go with this. Oh, yeah, three pairs. And there's two here. So this is, it's a three-pack. And those, those ones there go in here. They just probably fell out. They fell out. They fell out. These are pretty funky looking. Those look like um those therapy socks, like the um what are they? Compression Surf socks. Compression. I so I think they're sports yeah. socks. They're compression but, socks. But they are really they look like softball socks. Oh know. yeah, like soccer. Yeah. I think I know my socks. Maybe they are okay. You're right. I, I think they might be compression socks because here's another pair, and they say extra large. I know what I said. 
Okay, so that's oh, oh, one, two, this is a three pack of, we'll call it three. This one goes with that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hi, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, money bags. No, it's Jonathan. Yeah, Jonathan. Alfaro, it's not oh, Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> so there's 20. There's actually, April, you counted right 21, but one of those pairs of socks goes in a three pack. So, and we have Michelle at 35. Lori, I sent your request. Is it still giving you an error? June is out. I'm never going to find my soulmate. That's because you're one of a kind. Tammy comes in at 36. Oh, there's Jonathan. He was lurking in the background. He heard me call him. It's giving her an error message when she clicks continue. Uh, for Ava or? Yeah, I sent the request. Huh. Um. It's very strange. 38 now from Michelle. Maybe she needs to try to log back in, like yeah. re-log log back in. That will happen sometimes, yeah. Yeah, Lori, refresh your PayPal. Yeah, could be just stuck in a loop, like, kind of thing. And I know with the... Uh, the internet is really slow lately. So Sitting on the door. Now from Tammy. Sitting on a sock of the That's all I know. That's all you know. That's all I know, too. 42 now from Michelle. Michelle P is asking you to check your email. Check my email or check my messages? It says email. She's just sent you a message. Good night, RJ. Good night, Jules. Tammy's now at 44. Um, Betty's ready to put her night PJs on. I know. She said she. it's 9 p.m. It's time to take off her day PJs and put on her night PJs. <laughs> Day 10 of quarantine. <laughs> I know. That's how everybody's going to be. Everybody's going to be so lazy after this. Nobody's going to want to go to work. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I told the same thing. Did I say that, Lori? Yep. They're going to be hurting us just trying to walk outside. Yep. Yeah. Jeez. You know, I mean, it, it's hard when you even have like a week's vacation when you work at a regular job yeah. and then to go back, it takes you another week to recoup. Now yeah. people going back after this. Wow. Yep. Michelle P, that is completely up to you if you want to do that. That's really, really generous of you if you want to do that. All right, we have Tammy at 44. Michelle, let me know what you want to do here because I'm going to go once to Tammy at 44. I'll be right back while you close that. All right, honey. All right, let's go twice now. Oh my God. Kathy wants to know if she should take off her cheerleading uniform I now. Message. <laughs> I don't know what on earth. Take it off. <laughs> I don't know what it's saying. Did you close the socks? Fair warning, last and final call. 
I was kind of waiting to see if Michelle was out. I didn't get an out from Michelle. Oh, wait for Michelle to say out. Yeah, I want her to say out because she's usually the sock. Her socks. Michelle, you in or out? She just wrote laugh out loud. Oh, she did? I missed the out. Okay, apologize. All right, last and final call. Going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold. Congratulations, $44 to Tammy. Tammy, thank you. T or Donna, have you ever had that problem before where they've logged off and logged on and they're still getting an error with PayPal? No. I've never had that before. No. All right, I have some very exciting news to share. So Michelle P. Uh, won an Xbox system at auction. And she just said to me that she would like to, she would like for me to, to uh, call a number and give it to some lucky winner. The, wow. whole, the whole Xbox, Xbox system. Wow. Yep. Dennis, did you go to sleep yet? <laughs> so I'll show it to you. It's. Thank you, Michelle. You're so generous. Okay, so it's this Xbox. Wow. Brand new. It's in excellent condition. And it comes with the bar. And the power cords. She said it will help someone pass the time while on lockdown. Uh-huh. Yeah, Brandon's dying without his game system here. He we left it in California the last time we went by mistake. All right, well you guys you guys have a number. It's in the box. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Two system, two handles, and an extra battery, I guess. All right. Uh, she says it comes with thanks for many laughs. Oh, you are so sweet. Thank you so That's much. That's so awesome, Michelle. Thank you. Michelle, thank you, honey. All right, we're going to draw a number. Compliments. From across the pond, as they across say. The, well, across the pond is England. Oh. So. I thought that was Australia. Really yeah. the world. We got 70 people in the chat. Let's see who's going to win it. You ready? Let's go. First one has writing on it. Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany Reyes, are you here? I have a feeling Hi, she's sound asleep. Are you still here? And Tiffany used to love playing gaming systems. I know. I know. Darn. Darn. Somebody put her name in. If she said it looks like she's still here, but I don't know if she's actually still here. Give her time to render a computer. Are you here, Tiffany? Tiffany, cool. Tiffany! Oh, you over the back. Her a second. She's not here. She must have left it playing. Wake up, Tiffany. You won. <laughs> Remember the lag. Okay. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi going once. Going twice. Going three times with a fair warning. She's out. She's asleep. <laughs> oh, well. 
Okay, ready, Argo? Yes. It's a new number. Oh. Uh -huh. Get your list ready, T. Yep, I got it ready. Ready? Ready. 169. 169. That's a good number. Who's lucky number 169? <laughs> Wally, you have to follow I the. Drop the link there to register, Wally. <laughs> Does she not hear me when I'm talking? No, <laughs> never. Then I start talking and she interrupts me. You guys do it to me all the time. Next time, next time I'm just going to say, ask T Wally. You have to register, Wally. She dropped the link. Once you're registered, we'll give you a number. Okay, he said. Put a sock in it. Put a sock in it, T. Mrs. and Mr. Weird. Oh, they were here. They were here. They were here earlier. Yeah. Well, we've dropped down to 67 people, so a lot of well, people. they're still that. showing in the chat. They're still they're showing in the chat. They're probably Are doing something here, weird. Mr. Weird. Are you here? Are you here? They're doing I'm something weird right Mississippi now. Mississippi 3, Mississippi 4, Mississippi 5, Mississippi 6. Smile, sock. <laughs> Tea has I do. Happy juice. I do, I do, I do, I do. Very nice. <laughs> 10 Mississippi, 11 Mississippi, and they're out. How long do I have to hold this? They're out. Me? What? What? Are you Who? talking to me, sock? No, I was wondering how long I had to hold the smile. It's got a name on it. Oh. I hope it's my name. Nope. She's not here. Bonnie K. We've pulled her name like every day. Sometimes twice a day. She's not here. She's the most unluckiest, luckiest person. Okay, I'm pulling another number. It's got a yeah, name they, on it. They tend to rub me the wrong way. Not here. Shell Bean. Nope. Don't know who she is. Never seen her. Never comes around. Got a number and said adios, amigos. Deuces. Okay, ready? Yeah. Profit. No, nope. Got a number. Said, see you later, baby. I'm not coming back. <laughs> I don't even know my number. <laughs> I want a number. I want a number. And then they never come back. Oh, well. It's got writing on it. All right. Want a number, want a number. Gay Marie B. No. <laughs> want a number, want a number. How do I get a number? How do I get a number? I want a number, I want a number, and never come back. Oh, adios. Adios. <laughs> Sucks to be you. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Especially <laughs> since there's a $100 Xbox system going up. It's yeah. not really yeah. Probably more like a $150 yeah. Xbox system. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Michelle P goes, too bad, so sad. Next. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Who is it? Who is it? I don't know. But it's somebody who said, I want a number. I want to have a number. I want a number. Wow. You know what they say about low license plates? No. What do they say? <laughs> no. I don't know. Low license plates are always like. Money for Mars. 
Money from Mars drops in once in a while. They yeah. are here once in a while, but not tonight. Sorry. <laughs> Socks to be you. <laughs> Socks. <laughs> Socks to be you. People are going to have to learn that they have to attend our late night auctions if they want to win. That's good. Yeah. Well, any of our stuff, because we pulled a bunch even, I think, daytime today or yesterday or something. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, ready? Ready. It's got writing on it. So it's not me or you because I haven't pulled my number yet. I know. <laughs> so it's one of us. Are you kidding? Oh my God. Who is it? Joanne? No. Sock. Argyle. Oh, Noel in California. Again. Again. The same people. It's so crazy. I mean, I'm shaking it. I'm shaking the bag. I'm shaking it. I swear to God, I'm shaking it. All right. Let me pull up. Ronnie G. Ronnie G is calling garbage. <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs> Yeah. I don't see writing. All right. Could be a new number. Yeah, okay. Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Let's see who ninety-eight is. Rachel Boyd. Oh gosh, she might be here. She's quiet. Yeah, Rachel sometimes is lurking. Rachel, are you here? Are you here, Rachel? Garbage, Ronnie. For right, Bob? right, Bob. Brandon's always eating. No, she would say something if she was if she was here. Dang it. Okay, ready? Yep. New number. 83. I hope this is It's Michelle Lawing. Cheryl Lawing? Uh, no, Michelle Lawing. Yeah. Michelle, are you in here? Give her a okay. second. Come on. Yeah, she was she was here earlier. <clears throat> She's still showing in the chat. Yeah, she said she was gonna be in and out and in and out and in and out. Come on. In and out. Matthew said it would be so much more exciting if his number was in there. Matthew, your number should be in there unless you opted out. Michelle. Michelle Walling. Come on, Michelle. Nope. Next She's number. Been writing caps all week long. Ready? Oh, she's going to be mad. She's going to be mad. She's going to be mad. She's going to be real mad. No writing on it. Okay, here we go. Look at the list. 114. 114 is Mary Deathy Deals. Deals. I don't Deals. Know. Are you here, Deals? I haven't Come seen on. her all night. I haven't seen her tonight either. Deals. Deals. Are you not here? No, she's not here. Darn it. Two okay. the regular, not here. Cha-cha. Oh, I give up. <laughs> Listen, for every dud we pick, guys, you get you're getting closer. Chance. You're getting closer. Yeah. The yeah. odds are better. Okay, it's got writing on it. Okay. Oh my God, if it's the sock. <laughs> Compadre music, Oscar. Oscar hasn't been around in a couple of days. What's wrong with the sock winning? <laughs> I didn't say that. It's just you won two days in a row already. They're going to think it's rigged. <laughs> yeah, but I gave them both away, so it's karma. Oh, that's right. That's true. Garbage. Garbage. It's writing on it, I think. Oops. Yes. 
Yes, it's got writing on it. Oh no! Why? Oh, scores galore. Dennis, are you here? Mm. Dennis, I don't think Dennis is here. Nope, haven't seen him. No. It's not rigged, Betty. <laughs> no, I don't How could they say it's rigged? 42. 42. Michelle's here. Oh, Michelle. Mimi resells. Denise. Mimi resells. Are you in the house? Dennis Stu's here now all of a sudden, too. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody texted them. <laughs> Mimi resells, are you in the house? Kathy Spencer's putting her bra size in. I know. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> oh, Kathy, just make that another size, and that's me. All right. Yes, Michelle, we, we have to be in the chat when we pulled the number. We passed you, honey. Like way, like five names ago. <laughs> yeah, like five, six names ago. Okay, let's see. Let's do it again. It's got writing on it. Okay. Sherry Mossman. Sherry, are you here? Are you here, Sherry Mossman? <laughs> Brandon, Sherry Mossman. Want to get more food? <laughs> I'm going to hear about the music. <laughs> no, Terry has it. Never thought I'd say that. All right. It's got writing on it. Whoops. I didn't put Lynn. a last name. Lynn who? Just Lynn you said to me. That was yeah, the Lynn. Yeah. Lynn. Okay. Some people don't like to like give their full names. It just comes in as Lynn. All right. Maybe we should put the numbers back in like once a week, like on Sunday. Maybe we'll pull the num that all the numbers that we pulled tonight. I'll save and we'll put them back in again next Sunday's auction to give other people a chance. What do you think of that? Well, what am I going to do all week at my auctions? You you still have all of those auctions, all of those numbers to pick. My auctions and your auctions, we still have all these numbers to pick. These numbers I have already picked for this week. And then Sunday we'll replenish them again so they'll get another chance next week. Next Sunday. Next Sunday at the beginning of the auction. Lynn's right there. Lynn's here. Oh, Lynn's here. Lynn's here. <laughs> She's here, Lynn. Wait until you see what you won. All right. Oh, I was getting tired of touching it. All right. Wait until you see what you won. And this was this is compliments. Not from me. You won this Xbox. And The sound bar. And this is compliments from Michelle P. Or Peach, as we like to affectionately call her. Two controllers and all of the cords that make it run. So congratulations. Congratulations, Lynn. Yay! Yay! Woohoo! <clears throat> That was awesome. Michelle, thank you so much, sweetheart. That was so kind of you. There she is with the peach. Dennis is like, what? <laughs> Dennis is like, I know. What? <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, that was awesome. That was an awesome, awesome gift. Michelle, you're a peach. You are a peach, Michelle. She's a lucky duck. Okay, I'm going to put all of these numbers in this bag, and then we'll put these ba these numbers back in next week. So during the week when we do auctions, we can pull different numbers. Are you on board with that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
Okay, so all these numbers will go back into the bag next Sunday. Better you than me, Kim. So the ones that have names on it, those are ones that have been there for a long, long time, right? No, it's just that every time no. I pull it and we, we, we just had numbers originally in there. So every time we pull a number, when I tell her who it is on the list, she's just been writing the names on them. Yeah, so it's okay. easier. So she doesn't have to look on the list every time. Yeah, and plus some of the newer numbers, like probably you guys and some other people who came in, you know, in the 200s, probably we put their names on it right from the start. Gotcha. Okay, does Brandon want to show another lot? Because I think I'm going to do one more lot after this, and I might wrap it up. But if you guys still want to hang out, because I'm tired and i got a busy day tomorrow. But if you guys want to hang out, I encourage everybody to maybe go over to Robin's channel, because Robin only needs like 400 more hours. And if 68 of you go over there for an hour, she's going to get those hours. Yeah. So what happened to story time? What happened to story time? I was just going to say the same thing. I think we'll save story time for another time. I'm tired. Is that okay? <laughs> you know what, Lori? <sighs> Brandon, are you ready for me? How about if we pass on our lot and, and cover story time? Everybody wants story time. Everybody wants story time. Everybody wants story time. Oh, Tina, I prepared three clothing lots. Tina, if you, it's up to you. If you trust me on the clothing lots, I will do, uh, they're nice clothing lots. It's up to you. <laughs> I will do the clothing lots. If you want a mystery clothing lot, I will do a mystery clothing lot for $60 ship. You know what kind of clothes I always present. It's up to you. If you want me to put you down for a mystery clothing lot, I will. So lonely. I'm so lonely. Okay. Let's get he doesn't love me anymore. Sure. Okay, we're going to do a bedtime story. No story time. For me, I got so bad, can't you see? I need my story time. Could you stop for a minute? Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Tina Hostel Hunter says, I'll do that. You want a mystery clothing lot line? Okay, because I have it all done. I can just pack it up and send it to you. Darn, I wish I had more money because your clothing lots are awesome. Thank you. And I did put together three really nice ones tonight, but I didn't get a chance to show them. Yes. Okay. Tina. $60. Tina. Wholesale Hunter. Who's yelling? Why is Ronnie yelling? <laughs> <laughs> she wants story time. <laughs> All right, I got you, Tina. Um, I have two others if anybody else is interested in a surprise clothing line. Where is that wiener book? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I thought we were doing this, the bird sock one. All right, let's do this one because I can't find the other one right now. What did I do with it? I put it right here. Hope one of my kids didn't take it. They know not to come in here. <laughs> it was here, right here this afternoon. Okay, we'll do the birds. Okay, I feel much better now. Got a pantyhose book? No, I don't. I don't have a pantyhose book, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to stay. Should we stay on full screen? I think so. No, it's like this. Here, let's do it this way. How's that? Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, do birds need socks? I don't know, do they? Okay. So many pages. 
Birds stand on rocks, they stand in snow. Do birds need socks? I think so. I don't know. Well, that's less socks for humans if they need socks. Yeah. But he's standing in the snow with them. Yes, he is. They're going to get wet. They do so much flying, but they have to land. Do birds need socks to land on sand? No. They're rainbow yep. socks. They're, oh, rainbow they're rainbow socks. Yeah, I noticed. What kind of bird do you think it is? A gay bird? Oh, boy. I think, I think it's a gay bird. Oh, yeah, he's so happy. <laughs> it's definitely a gay bird. You can tell. Murray says, oh, more, good, there's more sweet. <laughs> he just you seems so how, happy. You know how else you can tell that it's a gay bird? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's, I don't know if it's late enough in the evening to say it. How else can you tell? Look at the picture and see. I am. I see it. You see it? <laughs> yeah. What do, what do you see? Well, he's got his pecker out. <laughs> <laughs> his pecker. <laughs> yeah. His his pecker. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's waving pecker. it proud. He's got a gay pecker. Yeah. <laughs> 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 birds would be more comfy with socks on their feet but how would they scratch to find food to eat it's a problem well yeah yeah it's a problem it is look at he's confused what do you suppose he's confused about well he's wondering where he's gonna get his next meal from just like us <laughs> 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 Good night, Michelle. Thank you for the donation. Have a safe night, Michelle. Oh, bye, Michelle. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. Socks without toes. That's an idea. Now they can eat with socks on their feet. Okay. Time. All right. We sold gloves without. Which we sold glove things without fingers today, right? Yeah, those are like leg warmers. That's gross. Leg warmers are kind of gay. Yeah, right. Yeah, but you're stereotyping. Okay. <laughs> what color to choose to put on your feet? Just match their feathers. That would be neat. Yeah, you well, match if you're gay. Uh, no. Well, let's just pick so, all the colors. So, so this gay bird picked out <laughs> this gay bird picked out the, the gay sock. Yeah. Yeah. And this bird here. He wants all the socks. He, he no, wants he's, all of them. No, no, he's confused. No. He's he he decided. No, no, he no, wants to try no. all of them. No. <laughs> He's look at look at look at the look on his face. Yeah, he's thinking. That's like a never mind. He's confused. He's trying to decide which to sock first. He doesn't know what to do. He's pulling a Donna. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know whether to go for the gay sock. Yeah. Or one of the other socks. Yeah. He's a confused gay bird. Yeah, it happens. Cardinals need socks. Blue Jays need blue. What color would a penguin need? That's up to you. Well, I would think he would want like black to white. <laughs> See, black and white polka dots. Beautiful. See? Yeah. You look stoned. <laughs> okay. But where would they keep them? I guessed by their nest. They would hang them on branches. That would be best. Yes, they're hanging them on branches. 
I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I don't feel about that either. Why is he poking me? It's like they're flying a flag. They're flying a cloud. They're flying socks instead of a flag. Yeah, maybe you're a proud gay flag. <laughs> it's like a it's like a pride, it's like a pride flag. Festival. But they're socks. Yeah. So in the morning when birds wake up, they put on their socks and be very comfy when they land on hard rocks. Hmm. Hard rocks or hard socks? You sure you read that right? They put on their socks and be very comfy when they land on hard rocks. Yeah, that's oh, what it I says. Thought, I thought it should say socks. No. They put on their socks. I don't know. I think that bird's in a very compromising position. Well, if you I mean, I wouldn't want to land on a hard <laughs> sock. I mean, look at, look at the yeah. leg. Have you ever landed on a hard sock? I definitely think that's a very compromising position for that bird. I mean, it looks like are, are those legs like appropriately like the way they the way they are like right there? Like, is that appropriate for a bird to like be lying there with his legs open like that? No. <laughs> no. It looks like it landed on a hard sock though. Right? Yeah. <laughs> the end. What? That's it? <laughs> Oh. That's it. No, that's they can't all just go in like that. That's all I got. It looks like it's going to go on. It does. I'm telling you. That just says we know. You're just trying to go to bed, Miss Donna. I know. That's it. That's the last that's only page. half the book. That's no, that's it. That's the last page. I'm telling you. There's no more. It was just a small book I picked. It's just little. You know, Donna, she's reading challenged. No, no, no. I, read the, I read the whole book. I did a good job reading it. Yeah. Challenged numbers, maybe, but reading I'm okay. <laughs> what a sock tease. Seriously. Oh my God. 59 people. 10 people left when I started reading the book with the inappropriate <laughs> legs and the gay flag flying. Some people are here for an auction. Yeah. Some people don't want to. They don't want bedtime stories <laughs> about gay socks. <laughs> okay. April says, Donna, you did a good job. Thank you. Thank you, April. How can you keep from laughing? I don't know. And I, I didn't even read this book before we started. I just grabbed it because it's in socks on it. <laughs> That's the only reason why I grabbed it. And, and I thought, like, oh, my God, I got to read this one. And I and I wanted to see if there was big words in it, and there wasn't. They were just all little words. <laughs> so, and with that, I'm gonna say good night. Are you gonna go over to your channel, Robin? Maybe later. What do you mean, maybe later? I need a break. It's one fifty nine in the morning. Yeah, and I need a break. You need a break. I do. All right. T, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. No You're problem. Great. I appreciate it. And Laurie and Brandon, thank you so much for being my special guests tonight. Thank you for having us. We definitely appreciate fun. it. Yeah, yeah so it was fun. It was great. We'll do it again. Absolutely. We got lots and lots more to sell. Yep, so do I. I know. Lots and lots to bill and ship. Yeah, yeah. so do we. I don't. I'll okay. Um, you. Lori's RV life. Sometimes I know that if if you make um, a lot of different payments to the same thing, the bank kind of goes ding, 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 you yeah. know, and, and they just kind of look at it. So... Um, let me ask you, are you having people send it to you for goods and services or are you? I don't, I don't know. Some people send it for friends and family, family. Some, some people send it differently. Most okay, of the time. So it's let for me tell you a story. If, if you have too many transactions, I, I know that I know someone this happened to. If you have too many transactions that come in through friends and family, you could permanently lose your PayPal account. Yeah. I've only had one come in that way ever since so, I've yeah. been doing it. So I don't allow anybody to pay me 
without right. really? paying goods and services. Yeah, okay. the only time we do that is if like we gift something or somebody wants to pay because it's a giveaway or something like that. Right. right. Only time. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's probably because, um, you know, she won one, two, three different lots. So maybe the third one kind of was triggered it. The trade tra yeah. to it, say, wait yeah. a minute, you know, if you go to the gas, if you ever put your card in a couple of times, then you put the neck, you put it in like a third time and it declines it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. That happened the other day and I had to call the bank, you know, go through the whole spill and all that good stuff. Yeah. So it just might be yeah. that. So, yeah. All right. There uh, was it the one. Yes. Yes. Lori. Uh, yes. But I know sometimes you just have to go on, you, you go on your text. You kind of yeah, exactly, questions. June. It's like a security check by yeah. the bank. So sometimes, like what happens to me, I I have it set up to my phone, so it literally comes over. Like um, we saw, saw this transaction. Are you doing? Are you yeah. spending this? I have to click back yes yeah. or whatever. But sometimes I have to call. Sometimes it comes to my email. Yeah, so. yeah it's just PayPal doesn't want to accept the liability in case it wasn't you doing it. That's yeah. all. And and then Siggy Lamp says use Cash App, no fees. And and Siggy, I appreciate you. Siggy does pay me sometimes with Cash App, and I admit that she does send it to me through Cash App. But for me, because of my bookkeeping, right. and my husband, who's like such a numbers guy, and makes me sit down and hand over all of my you know stuff, and you know, you I go. think I just got it. Yeah, she's got it to work. I think I, I got it. Yeah. I have to do it for bookkeeping. Thank you, Lori. I have to do mine through PayPal and pay all the fees. Yeah. We, we um, yeah, no, I'm the numbers guy also. So I kind of know the numbers like, like, you know, like, like we talked about before, you know, from top to bottom. And uh, I, I can he take wants, yeah. the year and all that good stuff for tax purposes and all that good stuff. Yeah. But he wants fact, documents. He wants, he wants it all in black and white and documents. Yeah. Well, cause I got, I got to file taxes tomorrow, mm -hmm. Monday, believe it or not. So I, I, I have everything written down over there, but that's going to be fun. Yeah, they so. didn't extend you guys. Well, they did, but here's the thing, though, T. In order to get that stimulus, you got to file your taxes before they disperse the check. So, um, to get that stimulus check, you have to have actually filed uh, 2019's taxes. Oh, good to know. Yeah. Good yep. to know. Okay. FYI. So, I'm going to jump yeah. on the tomorrow and just get it filed. So, at least we're in the system that, you know, it's in the process. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. My husband takes an extension every year. And I do too. He's always in the same I thing. Usually the last 15 do, years. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't file taxes until August. October. Yeah, but the good news is, is even yeah. if you file, you don't have to pay him. I thought it was August. Exactly. April. They're they're giving them a hard time about letting them go, but I eventually think it'll it go will through, happen. Yeah. It, yeah, I think it'll go yeah. through. There's no way that they would let no did not happen. But I always do the same thing, Don. I wait till yeah. I, I've waited till October for the last 15 years. I legitimately yeah. waited till October. I know people criticize me for it. I get a small penalty, but. Technically, we used to do quarterlies, and those were pain in the neck, pain in the neck for business. I just, oh, I hate to do on those. But uh, now the IRS, I just, you know, we know how to just basically do it once a year now, and it just works out better. But yeah, so I thought it was August. I October six October? months. October. Oh, yeah. Like, obviously, he takes care of that, and I'm not the numbers girl. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's October fifteenth is the final deadline for the extension date, which I've taken. If for, you haven't filed taxes and you're on something like Social Security or $600. whatever, you'll get six hundred dollars instead of the twelve. That's the proposal. That's the proposal that they're asking right now. And who's fighting it? Uh, Pelosi. Pelosi. Nancy. Is there a reason why she's fighting it? can't say why you're not going to say why you're not going to say why because you don't want it to turn into a political um discussion. i don't want to yeah. yeah yeah so she's a bitch oh, <laughs> <laughs> i mean i don't know do you think yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> Bob Black, thank you, Sock. <laughs> oh my God! No, but I think T said it best, though. T said, "Give it about a week, and I think we'll start to see these numbers. Hopefully, start to you know kind of go in a better direction." Yeah, you know. So, Chessie sees you, Argyle. Hi, Chessie. Come say hi, Chessie. Say hi. hi. Argyle. Tells me also, but they're it's actually declining that now. They want in the tonight. morning. They're saying no. See um, Steph's universe. They so were they were going to go only by 2018, oh, but there's a lot of kids 
out there that just started working and have worked this whole that whole last year. So they didn't get to file 2018. This will be their first time filing. And if they're living on their own or going to college and working and whatever, then they would miss out on the stimulus. So they're trying to figure out a way around that yeah. by using this year's taxes. Yeah, so like and that. have they said any more? Yes, Chacha, we definitely can meet tomorrow. And have they said any more about um, giving an allowance? At, what's the word, Steve? Oh. Mortgages? Yeah, that's really that. That's one thing they did get passed, which is great. Is that if you're a renter or you know, like you know, on your mortgage, on our mortgage, whatever. Um, you know, if you're not able to pay it come April first, that they they can't take any. Uh, they can't take any action. action they can't charge you. you any fees. So as of right now, so pretty much oh, it's a, <laughs> really yeah for for at least thirty days, at least thirty days. So and I'm wondering, <coughs> I'm wondering if anybody in the chat has um contacted their credit card companies or electric company or water company or any of the i think i told you the story water right, gas water gas and electric right. cannot come shut you off but believe it or not i think i told you the story last wednesday when this is all we were everybody was in the midst of all this after it got passed i had was one day behind in my gas but i didn't even realize lost i just i thought i had an auto pay i didn't and they came and shut us off Oh my, for one day? For one day. One well, day. It's Vegas. Vegas. It's Las Vegas. Yeah. So unfortunately, because yeah. it's I paid it within three a transient minutes. city. Yeah, I paid the whole bill off. It was like 148 bucks. Yeah. For know? 148. I have a pool that I keep heated, so it's a little higher, you know, but um, but yeah, it was 148 bucks. And for a one day late, I was shut off. Yeah. Vegas. So is that just in Vegas? What about cell Vegas. Phone, what about cell phone bills and like water bills? And water bills the same way. Water out Water, gas, same. and electric is the same. Yeah. Cell phones different out here. My understanding was is that the, the cell phones cell phones have to comply, but um, all the utility companies do because the cell phone technically they say is not a necessity. So is that is that nationwide or just in Vegas? Nationwide. That's nationwide. nationwide. It's federal. It's yeah, federal. It yeah, it is federal. Yes. yes. So I don't have to pay the electric bill. Nope. Well, I mean, it's you got to pay it eventually, but you'll you, have to yeah, pay yeah. it eventually. Yeah, but, but they you can't shut you they off can't right shut now. You off. They can't even they, they can't even make a demand for cable payments. is not um, included federally, so that's yeah. not included. They, yeah, they cell are. phones and cables they'll consider a luxury. So yeah, they opted out of both those those companies did. Yeah, so but no, uh, Donna, they can't uh, they can't even demand payment. I, now, I'm not saying a bad way, but they they can't demand payment for it either. Right. So yeah, really, did yeah. you hear that too, T? Not that I don't believe you, Brandon. No, I just yeah. I have no, a, it, it is a federal mandate. It is. It's a federal mandate. I, yeah, I, I, I haven't watched the news, so I don't know what is. And no, what and is. if you have an FHA mortgage, and I follow mortgage more so because of my background, if you have an FHA mortgage, yeah. um, they will not um, foreclose for at least 60 days up to a year, they're saying. Correct. Yeah. And it's on, I think it falls under the, uh, if you want to look at it, it falls under what's, what's called the Production Act, um, which is what he passed, reenacted, or activated. So right. the Act kind of covers all of us for that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um you know, where they can't charge the, these excessive fees. Right, but they're saying too, like if you're not going to pay your mortgage, and guys, please listen to this. I'm doing mortgage 33 years. Call the mortgage company. Yep. Get them on the phone and just tell them, listen, I'm out of work. You got We're it. on this federal lockdown. What they'll do is, let's say your payment's $2,000 a month. They'll yeah. take that money and they'll put it the back on the back the end of the mortgage. And right. then your next payment will be due. And they will not give you a 30-day late or a 60-day late because of it. Correct. So, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. You definitely call. still want to call, whether it be the right. gas, electric, water, mortgage company, car loan, all of right. those. You want to call all of them and just right. let them know. So, you know, I wouldn't not pay all of them, to right. be honest, because you'll get so far it's behind. So, so if, yeah. if you can pay it anyway, but what they're saying is if you're out of work and you're not making an income and whatever, and, and you have no possible means to take care of it all, They'll work with you. They will. Yes. So yes, you June says, in other words, you'll still owe it. Yes, June. Correct. But they cannot, if they put it also, they're saying if they defer it or there's a word for it, it's called a forbearance, right? Correct. In women's terms, basically it's going to be interest free tacked on to the end Correct. of the loan. So if your balance is 150 yep. and now you put 2000 at the end, it'll be 152 as you pay off. But you'll only be still be paying interest on the outstanding 150. But your payoff will reflect when you go to pay it off that you owe another two thousand dollars. Well, Correct. like to answer June's question, um, like because I just talked about with a buddy of mine, he's a little behind. Um, to answer your question, June, as far as let's say you owed fifteen hundred dollars the electric company and they're getting ready to shut you off right before this happened, they couldn't shut you off now. Right. They could not shut you off now. Right. Or if God yeah, forbid, behind you are already. That's how they structure it. Yeah. If you you know water, uh, uh, gas, all that. It, it's funny. We just had this talk the other day about our Lux Ben is I just renegotiated my mortgage two weeks ago 
which was a day before they gave that 1% interest on that. Oh no. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that stinks. Yeah. So what are they doing for unemployment? Unemployment, unfortunately, yeah. like out here, um, you know, we were told that you wouldn't have to wait for it. However, um, for some reason, a lot of people are, and our governor just said, we'll figure that out. Well, I thought I heard they were going to extend it past the, the 40 weeks. They are, but yeah. the, yeah. The, yeah. Is, um, the people, I don't know if you, if you heard, they, they were supposed to be uh, giving the money out immediately rather than There's supposed waiting to be periods. no wait, waiting period. Well, the problem is it crashed the whole phone system so nobody can get their money. It's been like that for six days in a lot of states. But that's newly filed unemployment. I'm talking about people. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Yes, yes correct. Yeah, they were already existing. Yes. Because yes. everybody's filing unemployment. Right. right. Exactly. It's crashing their system. Yeah. So. so nobody's able actually to file it. So and even going online is not possible either, I guess, to get errors and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, I know my, my son in law, he's been out of work for a week now. He just can't get through. He's he cannot get through. And my daughter still hasn't gotten her taxes back. She filed back in January. Yeah. She keeps calling them and calling them and they say, um, unfortunately, due to high call volume, we can't take your call right now and just hangs up on her. Yeah. The last time she finally got through to somebody like a week or so ago, yeah. they said for some reason it was frozen and they didn't know why. So they released it and said, we're so sorry about that. And you should have it by like the 21st or something. She still doesn't see it. And it's still saying processing and it's just sitting there like out in the middle of nowhere. Did she there, can't did she file online or did she mail in a paper? Online. She filed it online. They're secure income wise. They don't need the money. They're just going to pay their cards off with us. They don't really need it. Yeah. Uh, but you know, obviously you don't want to just give it back to the government. Interest rate. Hey, Jose, Jose, everybody was asking for you tonight, honey. Hi, Jose. Hi, Jose. You can't get on the website. It's crashed. Yeah. I think everything's been like that lately. Everything's so slack. Actually, your, your stream went very fast tonight, Donna, compared to most I was others. super lagging on my yeah. end. Yours has done well tonight, but it might just be a Florida thing, though, too. Yeah. You know, we're out of where you're out of. So, I mean, I don't know, but I know in Nevada here, it's been really slow. So, you know. Yeah. Well, I have to make a decision then. I have bills to pay tomorrow. I have all my bills to do tomorrow. Well, you probably better off paying your cable when you find bills. Just trying to avoid, but, but honestly, yeah. You know, and really then fun. call your credit card and call your mortgage company. And just let them defer a payment to the back end. You might as yeah. well. I mean, I know the advice that everybody's been saying, you know, everybody, we, we know the kind of work within these companies, Donna, is, is that I hate to say it this way, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is what we've all been told from even from a higher presidential level, is that put your gas, electric, and water on the back burner. Don't pay it right now if you can't afford it. If it, if it means put taking food off your table, don't pay it is what we were all told. Right. Yeah. So... It doesn't mean the bill goes away. It just means you play a little catch up down the end and that they have to work with you. That's what we were all told. So, mm -hmm. of course, I'm the guy that paid my water bill off a week ago right before it happened. <laughs> yeah. Go figure. To be honest with you, I'd rather invest that money into um, making money. Agree 100%. Yeah. I would. Yeah. The problem is you can't go anywhere to. Well, you still can. You're not on that. I'm not. Yeah. I got auctions ending tomorrow. I don't even think I can go to my storage unit tomorrow. I think tomorrow's the last, last day, day we, we can, can go it. for business. That's it. Yeah. I've talked to a lot of the other YouTubers too that kind of do all what we're doing. And um, they kind of said the same thing is that come uh, tomorrow, they don't know what they're going to do. You know, they're used to obviously having a certain amount of income come in every, every week or every yeah. month. And they've all said, and it's know, hard. Cause like our YouTube channel is solely based off of our regular videos. Our lives don't really do that much for us. You know what I mean? Right. So our whole main thing was our, our YouTube revenue and whatnot. And that's pretty much gone. I mean, how many times gone. do I walk front steps and go, Hey guys, look around here we go. I mean, I can't get a 10 minute right. video out so of that. We're not sure. getting the video was good the other day. I enjoyed the one with driving yeah. around the city and stuff. You know, yeah. it was, and it was just one of those things where I'm going to be honest with you. It was just content and it was shocking to see. And of course living out here because we know what our, our revenue relies upon and our, ta our taxes are low is because of that industry you saw that's all shut down. So we know where that goes too. So of course, for us, it was a little it was a little more emotional than most people that don't live here. But for us, a little more emotional knowing the, the reality of what's going to happen. It's not something that's going to just start back up in a week from now. Right. So we know the reality of what's going to happen. The toll to the take. But yeah, um, we just a lot of people are asking, well, what does Vegas look like? And well, you know, it, it's like probably worse than any city that you guys are all in right now. I mean, we're like completely shut down. It's just yeah, Chacha. If I could find it anywhere, what's that? Evergreen. <laughs> No. Oh, I'd do a video on that. I just don't have any. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I think, I think with Donna 
and 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 UT and area, you guys kind of have the uh, the market like like uh, brilliantly where you, you know you can do these videos that, that just work really well. I think, and we talked about this why we started doing lives a lot is because I think the one that kind of relied upon just doing storage videos and expecting nothing to ever kind of come in its course away is the one that kind of put themselves in a hole. You know, I don't care how many videos you think you have in the back burner, it's going to come a point where you have no videos left to right. put up. And when content dries up, I know how YouTube works. You will lose subscribers, you will lose views, and it will just stay that way for well, a long Well, you know time. what? Mike Pirate was on my 1,000 subscriber party last night and you know, he said he was. He said I I made a big mistake and took ten days. Yes. Off, and he went from a million views that he was getting on videos down to four hundred thousand. I mean, that's a big, big drop. I just, I just, uh, I just talked to him today. He did that. He did his. He had his auction on uh, earlier today, and uh, and he told me today. He said we talked to him in uh, in chat. And he said I don't know what I'm going to do. He said I got nothing left. He goes I can't keep going out because we're locked down. He right. says I don't know what to do, and so I, I feel bad for all these guys. Because I don't, I don't think um, we all understand. Come next week, there's not going to be a video to, video to put out. We can't. It's, it'd be like me going to my garage every day and going, "Hey, look, guys, I found another box." It, it wouldn't work very well. Right. You know, it's really boring after a while. But um, I don't know what these guys are going to do. They rely upon YouTube as an income. They rely upon buying storage units as an income, and those are not going to be around for quite a while. So, no, no. Uh, pretty I mean, scary thought. You know, everybody, everybody was like, "T, you bought so much." I bought from Brian, Mister Buys a lot. I went down to Pennsylvania with a fifteen foot U haul, and I really? basically bought his whole Sears clothes lot. You know, everything, all the clothes he bought from Sears, and um, I bought all his media. Right. Fourteen thousand LPs and. No, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Wow. Wow. Serious. So I mean, I have stuff as long as people want clothes, right. CDs. LPs, cassettes, you know, that stuff I have. That's Plus, I have right now. Yeah. I mean, if I had to even start liquidating my 3000 eBay, you know, things, I could. And that and that's been kind of the problem with them is that yeah. um <clears throat> and like the thing with us, so because we were solely as a storage channel before, um we migrated out of we, that before this all happened. We knew it was coming. So. Right, but the thing is is we had um, we have clothes galore, tubs and tubs and tubs true and religions, tubs of true clothes. Religions, true religions. Gucci, we have Gucci, Versace. Versace, everything. We have Forever 21 lots. We have vintage clothing. We have all of this, like all in different, you yeah. know. Organized. Organized buckets. Yeah. But our, our live viewers for auctions, they're not really resellers. They're looking for like one-off things. Like I said before, yeah. they're looking for, you know, knife lots they're looking for you know vintage stuff they're looking for you know stuff like that they're not really looking for clothing so right. we have clothing and clothing and clothing and clothing and clothing just sitting here so that takes up so much of our space um you know it's, it's like we have a lot but of we inventory, get it though, you know, but I mean, we know it's different strokes for different folks we know right. that you know so just it's it's just how it right. is that way I mean, I could I could go down to you know down to down to the lower part of California and, and all my electronics will sell within five minutes and then I can bring those up uh, fifty miles away and they wouldn't touch it. So just you have to kind of know where your venue you know your venue market is. And I heard that all the Yosemite and everything was closed. I I heard that yeah. But I, I think by midweek, uh, I, well actually again, but good news. I mean, believe the best news I heard all day today was when T said that the Washington numbers are are finally dropping. So. I think when we follow that trend where they were the first state to kind of come out with this, we should see that going everywhere at some point. You know, this is China did too. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's just it's just a statistical algorithm that obviously will work in its our favor at some point. Yeah. I think the notion that at some point or another that that everybody's become you know contagion, I'll use that term, um, is is nonsense because uh, I, I I think the world doing the right thing now, and mm -hmm. I don't leave my house because I don't want to get sick. So. You know, or break the law. Or break the law. Yeah, but, <laughs> but I'm saying obviously, for if if it wasn't enacted, I still wouldn't. I would still stay in. So, right. You know. I don't no, and we have. We. Ha I mean, we like I said, we haven't been on lockdown, but we've been trying to stay yeah. low and stay in as much as possible. But you know what? We're all in the fortunate class where we can work from home. Correct. Exactly. Yep. Tina, send me an email if you want, because I I can put together lots and stuff of clothing. We just don't have on our channel. Yeah, those no, no, don't, don't get me wrong. Buy, Donna knows our wrong. clientele. I mean, our oh. clientele is great. They'll pay good money for a lot of stuff we have, which has been great. Yeah. It's just, um, but there's certain things we know we can sell to them. There's certain things we know we can't sell to them. Well, you need to put that in your thumbnail. Yeah. True, true, true. Very yeah. true. You will attract those kind of customers. Right. Ah, okay. So you're just saying, right, 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 right. 
Yeah. See, that's that's one thing that we we've been very vague on, only because again the auctions are fairly new to us, and uh, and again I give all credit to Don. I know a lot of people gone around. They, 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 everybody's doing it now, but they they've been very successful. Congratulations to you because they work well. You know. Yeah. Um, and for I think for us, uh, this would have been a lot of the stuff that would have taken the swap meet. Doesn't mean I wouldn't got the same amount of money for them, but it's a little easier when doing it from home. Yeah. You know. Uh, and I get a very good shipping rate. Very good shipping rate. Um, a lot of times I can get FedEx two day, two day with eighty percent off. You know, I mean, that's how good my rate is. So a lot of people ask how I can ship them for so cheap. I just get a really good rate. You know, um, I've been with them for years, you know, decades. I've been to UPS for decades. Um, the only one I don't get a discount on is USPS. So when I, a lot of my smaller stuff, a lot of people ask why I can't give them a break in that. I don't I don't think post office really has ever given a, a, much of a discount, right? Pirate ship. Pirate ship does. Oh, pirate do they really? Does. Okay, I didn't yeah. know that. I didn't know that. Okay. That's what I use. I use pirate ship. Is it, is it drastic or is it just kind of? is Drastic. It, well, really? even if you take payments through PayPal and you do yeah. class or media, you do still get a discount on that. Yeah, yeah correct. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, 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 well, we just, we've always, even with eBay, when we were doing that, we've always just used our own FedEx accounts. They get that much of a discount on UPS. I mean, geez, these guys are getting- Yeah, like what? 50% off on UPS, Well, right? 50 to 70. I mean, there and was then, times I was shipping 35 pound packages coast to coast. I was, I was shipping 35 pounds and 24 by 24 boxes for less than 30 bucks. Federal Express? Uh, no, UPS. UPS. Yeah, UPS ground. That's a pretty good deal, you know, for 35. I say for a 44 pound box, and it was 22 by 22 inches. It's a good size, yeah. I paid $96. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. We, we, I'm um, using my rates about 29 bucks in that, uh, yeah. coast to coast. So I you say coast to coast, we're in Vegas, but it's basically the coast, but from UPS. Oh. Yeah, UPS going back to Boston or Vermont or Maine or New Hampshire or New York or Pennsylvania. Or a 24 by 24 by 24 box? Yeah. They're going to come, they're gonna come like 68% off, 65% off the, the rack rate. And then on top of that, um, I'm going to get additional uh, rate off of that as well. So it ends up being about 29 bucks, you know, all the way coast to coast. That's great. Yeah, and FedEx has been really good to me too. FedEx has been 80% off two-day. So we need that. The two-day, you got to – She is – the, the two day has been very good to me too, because I just shipped the box going all the way back to North Carolina. It was yeah. 44 pounds. Uh, and, and for, uh, it got, he you know, obviously got there in two days. I think they ended up cost me, uh, it was, well, no, was it 27 pounds and it was a, uh, 20 by 20. And that, that, that went out there on two day for, uh, 23 bucks. Wow. Yeah, I know. You know what the regular rate was? It was almost a hundred bucks for regular, for the regular rate. So USPS, I, I, I got a quote. Um, you know, on, on my pirate ship, um, right. it was $170 to send yeah. it out. Right, T? Is that what I said yeah, to you? 170? Like yeah. 170 So I took it to the Federal Express office. Right. Around, and it was, it was uh, 90, $94. Still change. quite a bit, though. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Um, I, know if you, I don't know if you have a UPS account now, but it, you, they do allow you to sign for a new one. If you sign I didn't, now. T told me to check you. UPS, yeah. and I told her I'm not going to waste my time because whenever I've checked UPS rates, they've always been higher than Federal Express. Always, 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 always. I'm not even going to waste my time. Yeah, with but it. you know what? When you go into PayPal, if you just do the drop down, at least you can see what the rate is. You Correct. Have the rates, yeah. Yeah. Correct. Which I is beneficial. I'm going to waste my time because it's always, always more expensive. Yeah, but Donna, they just came out with a new promo code. UPS did. A lot of people know about it. Um, and I only get it because we've been with so long. They gave me the opportunity to use the code. It's called, uh, the promo code is called uh, EASY, E-A-S-Y, just as it sounds. And that promo code essentially gives you, uh, 50, or, well, it's 40 to 60% off, but it's been, I can tell you right now, I'm saving 20 to 30 bucks every package. It would have cost you 50 bucks. So if it would have been fifty dollars, I'm, I'm paying twenty dollars now. So have you ever used Greyhound shipping? I've heard of them. I never used them. Me neither. I want to try it. I, I've heard of them. Though. Um, they, yeah, they're, they're not new. They've been around for a little while. No, I know, but yeah. if it depends if there's a Greyhound bus terminal wherever you're Correct. sending. Our, I, our Greyhound bus terminal is I shut down. I don't think. Yeah, I think you wouldn't be able to use it now, Donna, because they, the Greyhound is one of the first ones to get shut down for the transport. Yeah. Thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. the only downfall, though. So. Uh, but I know what you're talking about. I do think it is worth it because 
what they're doing is basically putting your package on a Greyhound bus and you're just getting a really cheap rate you know, when they have room, you know? So. Yeah. I mean, I bet if I, if I had organized, if Greyhound, I think someone told me it's super, super cheap. It is. Someone, it is. Yeah. You're talking about a huge box, for like 20 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Like 20 yeah. bucks. Someone said they shipped a table, like yeah. the size of a desk for 20 bucks, yeah. like across the country. I think the only thing they have to do at that point is go pick it up the Greyhound terminal, right? Is what it is. You bring it there. Correct. They they wrapped the whole thing in cardboard, taped yep. it all up, and um and it was just like the, wrapped the legs in cardboard, wrapped the top in cardboard, and then just taped it all up. Brought it to the Greyhound terminal. They slip it in with the luggage. Yeah, uh, it costs like twenty bucks to send it. I mean, I've even had luck with DHL lately. DHL's been really cheap. The problem a lot of those companies like DHL is if you ever have to file a claim, good luck. Yeah, you know, you, yeah. UPS is pretty good on their claims. FedEx is really good. I've never had a claim denied by FedEx to this day in 25 years. I mean, I've had them denied, but I always get an appeal. They, they approve it. And I haven't had to file a lot, but I've, I've never, ever, 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 ever had a claim denied ever. So I never file claims when something breaks in the mail, like to one of my customers, if one of my customers buys something from me and it breaks in the mail, right. I give them a full refund and I don't even put a claim into UPS. That's yeah. I mean, we'll see the, the with us, what we have is, I don't know if you, if you, if you, if with your account or not, we, we have, it's called direct deposit on the, uh, on the UPS. So basically rather than get a check in the mail, they just do a direct deposit now for us, which is really yeah. convenient. You know, I, I just can't even waste my time. Like, if, Oh, you know, I get it. She hates doing like it. I've been doing them this whole time. She hates doing them. Yeah. yeah it, you know, if, if, if I tell them out on the too, sometimes if it's just a smaller item, it's not worth it. Exactly. You know, yeah. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I mean, I had something, Don the Bargain Hunter had something that broke. Awesome. That was like, you know, it was a two piece thing that it was a two piece puppet thing. And one of it was old, it was old and brittle, anyways. Right. And I did wrap it. One of them arrived broken. God, he, was, uh, he paid $65 for it. Right. I just refunded him the whole, the whole amount. Right. I right. just said, just. Just take a credit. I never filed a credit. I never filed a claim with UPS for the sixty-five dollars. I was mainly. I would mainly do that typically, with, especially with, more so with eBay claims, um, because obviously I didn't know who this person was on eBay. You know, and so with eBay, I, I typically would file them there. If it's a hundred-dollar item, I would. If it was a fifty-dollar item, I probably would question it. If it was a twenty-dollar item, I wouldn't waste my time because. Right. I mean, yes, time is money. When it takes me thirty minutes to fill out a claim form and send pictures in, time is money. I know. I don't have that 30 minutes. I, I don't either. That's the problem. I mean, I could be packing five of the boxes at that point. No, yeah. I know. It's so, just, I'm just not doing it. You know, and, and my mother always taught me she was a business mm -hmm. person. It's, it's the cost of doing business. That's the, it's the cost of doing business. So that's why I've always looked at it. But, you know. I'm going to go night night. All right. Whose channel are we doing? T go to Robin's. Really? Go to Robin's. She Robin, send me a message then. She no? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Robin, go on your channel. You need four hundred. What, what, what channel, Robin? How many more does she need? No, it's just hours. She needs. She needs like uh, four hundred hours. She needs like four hundred well, hours. Nothing. That's, nothing. that's nothing. The hours are the easy. Yeah, that's really. Easy. Yeah, that's really easy. You get you got fifty fifty six people in the chat. If you go on for like two hours oh, with oh, yeah. people, hey, but I need a break. Do you want to come on my channel? No, I will be back up later. Okay. Can so I have a break? Are you going to send oh, me a message geez. then? Yes. Okay, then I will wait for it. My ass hurts. <laughs> God. Fine, oh, I said it. Happy now? My ass is killing me. <laughs> I didn't even know you had an ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel bad. Oh, no it's very painful. I had no idea you had, you had an ass. Yeah. She's an ass. Right, so, you know, the whole idea is we don't want to lose the 56 people. We wanted to tell them to come over. So do you want to give them an idea <laughs> of the time? What approximate time? Can I have like 15, 20 minutes? How about how about we do it at midnight? 30 minutes? Is that what you want to do? How about yeah. you have 30 minutes? Walk around. Yeah. 
All right, then. I'll put it up on my channel that I'll be on your channel. Okay. All right. Everybody uh, happy? Fine. All, right. all right, you guys. Don't go. Don't forget to go over and support the sock. That's right. No. No, you'll be on Because, because She Shed. Channel. You're going to no, Rob. Yeah, we'll be on Because She Shed. We won't be... Robin's sleeping, so we'll be on with Sock, but she's going to take over Robin's channel, I think, right? Yeah, now you get it. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah. So confusing. Not really. Okay, Bob Black said, see you there. Okay, Bob Black Sheep. <laughs> All right, put, put Robin, Robin's link in there, okay? Robin, yeah. because she put yeah. that link in there. Taking over her channel. That's right. Good Mama G. Good night, Bobby. Good night, Cha Cha. Good night, Bob. Good night, Christine. Good night, Good night boy. Goodbye, Joseph. How's that? Uh, love YouTube. We're going over to because she shed the Mama G just put up the link. We'll Good all be night. there. It's two thirty here too, honey. I gotta go to bed. I got a big day tomorrow. All right. All right. Love you. Love you all. Thank you so Bye, much guys. for having us on. We had such a blast.